Opa! Welcome everybody to Stavi's World 904 800 Stav. Call in and we'll solve all your problems. Uh, I'm pumped to have in the stew, in in Astoria, straight from the au pair capital of the world, Fort Greene. Grace, I'm going to fuck. Kunal Schmidt? Cool and Schmidt. Cool and Schmidt, fuck. I love Knoodle Schmidt. That's cool. fun. That was fun. Because I, I used to say, I I like pronounce your name with a hard D. Yeah. There was like a, in my in the pronunciation, I, totally. I hit it with a Kundal Schmidt. There's too, there's frankly too many there's letters. too many letters. They could have spelled this, my last name, in like seven Give letters, and they chose time. to do 13. Cool and Schmidt. Cool and Schmidt. Way easy. Yeah, it sounds, yeah. doesn't sound bad when you say it. I think but you it's so fu- much. But it's fucked up on the page. <laughs> I know, it's really ugly, actually. <laughs> it sucks. It's, it's real, it really real sucks. German in like the bad parts of Germany. I know. It really makes you feel At like when point, you read it. At one there's five consonants in a row. That sucks. That's like, that's not a word almost. Yeah, and it's like... It's one thing when it's like Polish and they throw in some fun Z's and X's and right. shit. But you just got regular consonants. I wish I at least had an umlaut. <laughs> yeah, an umlaut. That would be so cool. <laughs> an umlaut would turn it up. Like are, an, you got to oh, start throwing an umlaut If I had an umlaut, I would just go by cool. K-U-H-L Ooh. with an umlaut. K-U-H-L. I mean, it would, I would change my vibe completely. I would actually probably. take the H out. Oh, I'll really? just go K-U-L, K-U-L. and then let the umlaut do And I would start my, my rap career too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd cool. be British. That'd be cool. Yeah, it would be sick. And you could have like a lot of Joe Cool the Camel, yeah, like, crossovers. Oh my God, you're right. Okay, yeah, you're figuring out sick. my merch now. Yeah. You, were you? You're you're younger than us, but did you remember? Do you remember Joe Cool? Not like very. He well. was awesome. He was a camel. It was a camel. Yeah. He was like the camel mascot, and just straight up was to For make children right? smoke. Yeah. Like because he wore sunglasses. He wore sunglasses. He was like, dude, pull up some Joe Cool oh. shit. He was so. If joke, I remember, maybe he's it was, hot. Maybe it's Joe. He's a piece of ass for sure. Yeah, look yeah, at him. Oh my god! Like I'm just a little ass kid seeing a fucking sick camel in a leather <laughs> jacket. He's got bitches. He's like you know he's, he's like he's seven got a foot motorcycle. Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he's fucking. He's hung. playing so piano cool. and Monaco, piano. and it just that looks so like to this day that looks fucking awesome. Yeah, like I want to smoke does. a cigarette right now. Right. I was six years old, being like, I can't wait to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait to fucking smoke. I think I literally. Literally, because I think I literally asked my parents for cigarettes. Yeah. Because you know you're a dumbass little kid. You of just course. advertising is just working on you. And yeah. I think that my mom was very when you when you brought something to her attention, she was very protective. A lot of shit slid by. Oh, of course. Little Venetia easily, but yeah. Once I let her know how much, because I had a joke. I had a camel hat that I would just wear to While school. While you were a kid. I was seven years old. My Do most you know prized possession. It? I don't. I think it just. My, my dad was a. You know, my dad's a carpenter, and uh-huh. they all just wear like free merch. Totally. Like, like today, you'll see it. Like, uh, you'll see like a lot of like Hispanic like carpenter guys who don't like will just wear a shirt that says princess on it, or like you know what I mean, like <laughs> yeah, a, cla- yeah. a classic move where it's like um, they just got it from the thrift store and totally. like and like I think Greg Giraldo had that joke. I don't mean to steal it. Everyone relax. <laughs> but um, my Greek. Greek day laborers and carpenters were very much the same. Yeah. So any free merch they got Just their graphic hands tees. on, graphic tees, oh, love like, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I, he wore a lot of like, I think I got it. I think it was my dad's hat. If I yeah. had to guess. So you're like, I'll have a milk and a cigarette. I'll, I would. Lo- <laughs> if it was up to me, yeah. I mean, that actually is a pretty good meal. A chocolate it's milk. It's pretty well rounded. Chocolate milk and a cigarette. <laughs> we also. It also might have come from our other friend whose family just unapologetically smoked. Really. We still in the house too. In you the, think? Oh, yeah. Not do I think. I, I was there. <laughs> my mom made me hang out with them less because I had asthma. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have a full smoker's cough yeah, at seven. I did, <laughs> truly, um, but uh, yeah, yeah so, I always thought cigarettes were cool. Like, I, they're awesome. I remember as a kid thinking like drinking is bad, mm. but cigarettes, I always was like, no, that's just sick visually, for sure. visually so awesome. Because right? how? Because like we also like I'm 34, and so it was like right at the cutoff where. People were still smoking indoors. Totally. Bar, like, I remember when they stopped, when it was, they made it illegal to smoke in bars. Yeah. Like, we weren't, we were sneaking into bars when you, like, I wasn't 21 yet, but it was like, right. the, so you my saw first it. bar experience was yeah. like, you could smoke in bars. Wow. A really beautiful time. And I they know. looked awesome. If only we could still smoke on airplanes. I know, that would be awesome. Oh. Now, now it would be sick to just 
now weed is so acceptable like mm -hmm. i want to smoke weed on an airplane yeah i think they should do like that would be sick <laughs> kind, of how, kind of how the all those billionaires just went on that submersible yes they should have people you where you could pay more you could pay double yeah to go on an airplane and smoke that would be sick the smokers fucking lounge <laughs> the air really cool. i mean snoop dog where you at dude yeah. that's easy yeah, soul think, plane for real i would go on soul plane for real if it was if you're that's a great movie i haven't seen it honestly it's fucking awesome you you think it private doesn't. jets just stink of, like, tobacco? Yeah, definitely. They can do whatever right? they want on yeah. those fucking things, for sure. And I think they have a way to... Although, I will... Not to brag, I was on one private jet one <laughs> please, time. Please, please brag. And yes, did I sit on the same toilet Beyonce sat on? Yes. Wow. It's the Puma jet. I'm guessing she had to piss at some point. Maybe she didn't. Yeah. Maybe she's too classy. She only pees, though. I'm positive Yeah, that. Yeah, she definitely, she definitely doesn't shit outside of the no comfort way. of her own home. She's got, like, the bathroom she sits, she shits in, you need, like, an NDA to clean. Yeah. Like, there's, like, one special maid yeah, who does like, nothing. Yeah, they're, like, worried if someone's taking yeah. DNA. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> And she, they will kill you if they even get the <laughs> faintest hint of, like, you're talking about Beyonce shit. 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that would, honestly, if you had a picture of Beyonce shit, that would go so viral. I, I would, and I would love to see it, honestly. I, just right now, I'm one of the, I'm part of the problem. No, I think I'd it like would to be cool. It. I think that it could be really amazing if she came out with kind of like an everybody poops book. Oh, wow. That's Wouldn't interesting. Wouldn't that be like kind of something new? Yeah. Just yeah. so that we know that like beautiful women also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know the, I do. Who's the, most, sure. who's the most shit forward hot lady, do you think? I don't know. It's pro you know who it's probably going to be and it's not going to work because this is too much her thing is Jennifer Lauren or Lawrence. Yeah, yes. Right. right? Lawrence. Yes. J-Law. J-Law. Yeah. It's going to be her it, and it's yeah. not going to work. <laughs> no. Because you've done too much of it. And also I can still <laughs> see her. I, I can still see her and I'm like, I know that they're pretty small poops. <laughs> right. You're right. She She's would not living act, my life. She would act like they're huge, right? like, dumps. And but I just know it. They're I not. I just know it. They're not. What about Sharon Stone? I feel like she's pretty <laughs> crazy. I feel like she's pretty crazy. Like Coming through with Sharon Stone? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Just for the crazy factor only. No. I don't know. In her, in her prime, I don't think she's talking about her shits. To just too much like the absolute biggest piece of ass in Hollywood. She was awesome. Yeah. That's fair. Maybe now. I think now though. She's aged yeah. gracefully as like an ambassador for aging and like maybe right. taking I mean, wh wh who had the shit the diarrhea yogurt? Uh Jamie Oh, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis had diarrhea yoga. Yeah, oh. Activia. Was that was Activia? huge. Yeah. Oh, that That's was her. Diarrhea. That was her. Well, no, I think it just makes you shit. <laughs> so it's it like it makes you shit. But it's okay, like gotcha. a, it's like an explicitly. It's fi like, fibrous. It's like a shit uh. conscious yogurt. Totally. Like it's about shitting. It's like keeping you regular, all that kind of shit. We should put all yogurt in gogurt form. <laughs> I like that. It's, it's so much easier. <laughs> gogurt was huge. Go I remember being pumped for gogurt. That mm -hmm. this is another thing that the advertising got my ass because again, we were around when gogurt dropped. Yeah. And um, I remember being so pumped, but it's because it wasn't a cigarette, I asked for it, and my mom <laughs> got it for me. And then you just have hot yogurt. In your lunchbox. I know. And it I know. fucking sucked. Yeah, it you're was right. Like, like, the idea that yogurt is on the go is one of the most fucked up ideas also, of all like, time. <laughs> like, it's in plastic heating up. Yeah, like and you your know hand it's is hot. Hurt. Yeah. It's like, it's a really oh, fucked up God. idea. But uh, those days, everything in my lunchbox was hot. My lunchbox mm, itself was mm. like hot to the touch. Yeah. So it's like my water, my PBJ was melting. Yes. It was just horrible. Did you have like a, what, did you have like a, who packed your lunches and did they take pride in the lunch? My mom packed my lunches and like she took pride in it, but my parents were all like, we eat like natural organic oh, foods no. growing up. <laughs> that sucks. So yeah, like that even my brother sucks. went to a birthday party one time and when my mom picked him up, the mom was like, hey, can I um talk to you separately to my mom? And she goes, so Jack ate about 20 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> and my mom was like, that's insane. And she was like, I just want to make sure that you're feeding your son. <laughs> and my mom was like, what? That's fucking but awesome. But it was because it was Skippy. And oh, we were like, yeah. He had never we, had it. We're like addicted to sugar anytime we can get our hands on it. Yeah. Skip, yeah. Uh, Skippy, if you only had natural peanut butter. Oh, my God. It's like, just, it's it's like you peeled day. the chocolate off the Reese's peanut butter cups. Still to this day, I can like appreciate natural peanut butter mm -hmm. but i'm like 
<laughs> Skippy shit. There's something about like you need Skippy. thousands of grams <laughs> yeah, of sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just do make it better. This is so <laughs> sick. Yeah. That's an awesome move on your brother's part to just eat 20 <laughs> BBJs. Was he a fat kid? He was like, I was much fatter than okay. him always, but he was like chubby up until maybe like his teens. Gotcha. But I just stuck with it all stuck the way through. Stuck with it, hell yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> I was like, I'm never yeah. quitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it always, all the time. It always <laughs> pisses, like I'm weirdly like happy and it always pisses me off when a fat friend loses like, and it's like, look, I, I want my fat friends to get to stay fat for like entertainment Totally. Business per like you can be a healthy person and be considered yeah. fat in entertainment, yeah. and you're not. You're like be the fattest guy in like the seventies, right? Little belly, you know what I mean. I, he can't See? lose the belly, yeah. You know, and so I've had a couple friends who have kind of a bit. Robert Kelly, uh, he had some kind of procedure and worked really hard, and mm -hmm. not, he was fat as shit when we met. Yeah, not fat anymore. Not I mean, still fat this compared like to a fucking regular people. Moment. Yeah, yeah. We should do an in memoriam for <laughs> yeah. all our fat maybe, friends. Maybe rest way. in skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the best example is my boy Ethan Suplee, who he was he was fat as hell, but he got jacked. So I kind of respect that because you're to, still a big to guy. Jacked is always cool because he's like, and he's not just like kind of jacked. That motherfucker he's is like broad and humongous like, oh, and that strong is as so shit. Cool. That's cool. You got to yeah. become because I would. I am scared to become. I mean. People, people, I get it. Oh, don't worry, <laughs> stuff. I, I wouldn't be scared. Things. Fine. I beat you to it, motherfuckers. I know. I'm, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fat as hell, and now he's, like, fucking jacked as shit. Um, a fr uh, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, he's he's had one of the coolest careers. He's been in wow, so many sick for movies. Real? Yeah, he's yeah. He's fucking a legend. He, I love him. He's worked in, like, he's worked with so many cool directors. He's the fucking man. Cool. So many iconic movies. But, yeah, yeah. he's so hilariously jacked now. But it's cool, because he, he's still in a 2XL. Yeah. It's just big ass arms. And you still gotta almost eat the same he amount of food. He eats a shit ton of food. He just doesn't eat like he yeah. just doesn't eat like sugars totally. and shit like that. Um, that was the cool thing. I lived in Chicago for three years, and the coolest thing about living there was that I wasn't fat. Yeah, Chicago rules. <laughs> I literally was so medium. <laughs> yeah. I know. It was it's unbelievable. fucking awesome. I would walk into places and be like, oh my God, I'm yeah. the thinnest person here. Yeah, when you go to a thrift store and they have sizes bigger than yours, and you're I like, know. they had fat people here 30 years ago? What the fuck? No, thrift stores, they start at a large. Yeah, they yeah, just go yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is awesome. It's the kind of it's the kind of place where they use the term pip squeak a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like they, yeah. it, to be a little man is so embarrassing. No, exactly. In Chicago, it's instead like, of like it being bad to be like I'm big boned, it's like yeah. no, you're brittle. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Cool. It, if it had a little more summer, I would consider moving there. I love that yeah. city. It is a cool city, but I mean, <laughs> two months there are livable. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. So you, so you grew up all natural and shit like that. Where in LA is that? In right? LA. Yeah. So in LA, LA, were your parents like? Entertainment people? No, I wish so hippies? badly right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they, like, my dad, like, works for my mom. My mom works in real estate. Like, oh, she, hell like, yeah. sells houses. Love that. And so, yeah, so, but I grew up, like, in L.A. proper, like, in the Palisades, which is in between Santa Monica and Malibu. Oh, so it's, shit. like, truly bougie. Really? Yeah, yeah, West Side. But, yeah. So it, like, makes sense that... Yeah. They were like into organic shit. I also love the dynamic of dad working for mom. I know it's kind of cool. fucking sick. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, and my dad yeah. did like cook most of our that's awesome of our dinners, and he's also like not a macho guy. So yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. like, he's kind of like a bi legend, even though <laughs> yeah. he's literally straight. Your dad, your dad is he they coded? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's my dream. I would love to just like. I've thought about this. I would just love to just meet. Uh, we were just, we had another episode recently where my my friend Jamel, who's a, Jamel Johnson, great comedian, who's a big mm. WNBA fan, and I was just thinking like I would love to be like cheering for my wife oh my God. on the court. Like I would just love right? to be holding our son and being like, "Mommy's killing it." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I do a couple shows, but I watch our son. You know right? what I mean? Like I that sounds Stay fucking at home awesome. Is actually like Stay that's home. the move. That's the why have we been like. Saying that's lazy. That's no. the smartest if thing I, you could do. It sounds awesome. And by the way, if you're if you're rich and a stay at home parent, oh. you're not doing shit. <laughs> that's it's fucking I, awesome. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like it's like you got fun. We're it's, it's like I'm not gonna have a cleaning person come yeah. in. Of course. of course, of course, someone's gonna cook some meals. I'm just hanging out with my kid. Yeah. 
Probably in this fantasy, I have a fucking, I have a gym in the basement. I'm, I'm getting fucking jacked. No, 100%. I'm just strong, as strong You're as Ethan. You're saying the same amount of pounds? Yeah. Just yes. getting yeah. Well, I, don't, I could probably, maybe not, this, I would be the strongest <laughs> man alive if I say the same amount of pounds. I'm winning Mr. Olympia <laughs> if, I, if I'm fucking the same amount You're of pounds. You're at that point. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. It's going out of the stadium. Yeah. I'm hitting small blimps. Uh, if the Goodyear blimp is flying yeah, over, fucked. it's fucked big time if I'm the same weight but just muscle. But yeah, I would love. That's a great. I'm, I know I'm jealous of your dad. Right? It's cool. Except I know the mom in, in LA who, like, her, I, who, by the way, I love, her only job really all year is, like, making their Christmas cards. <laughs> yeah. And you I'm know like, she's freaking is, out about and it. She's amazing yeah. at it. Too. Oh, like, she's they crushing always it. have the best Christmas yeah. cards. And I'm like, that's her job. Yeah. Yeah. I love that little it's ceremonial too good to be shit. True. Yeah. Throwing a couple. Throw a couple sick birthday parties. That's get it a, too. Get a fucking Christmas card, yeah. and then like, you know, uh, like w- a couple really important meals. Like you know, yeah. have some dinner parties too. Like the holidays, holiday, a big yeah. you know, bi- yeah, holidays and like graduations yeah. and like just you are basically an events coordinator. <laughs> you know a doubt. what I mean? Like an events coordinator and like a graphic designer. Yeah, who gets to just fucking <laughs> chill? Graphic designer on Microsoft Word. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, those ladies have been going off with Canva. They really. And when Canva have. came out, those bitches went wild with it. I <laughs> they, just taught my mom Canva. <laughs> oh, I, bet. I literally did. Oh, I, I bet did. you. I bet you she's, she's so like, stoked. This is really cool. You can do so much. She just made bookmarks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> So you had, so you had, it was just you and your brother? Me and my brother, yeah. And he's younger or older? He's three, uh, three, I, I think, years older than me. Okay. We're pretty close. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, he works in reality TV. He's Whoa. like a producer. It's that's fucking cool. awesome. I know, so I get some like little bits of tea about Ooh, some shows. That's awesome. Fun. Yeah. What kind of shit has he worked he, on? He mostly works on MTV's The Challenge. Oh, okay. Which like. A classic. A total classic. A classic, and yeah. he and I watched that growing up. So wow. that's really fun. Yeah. But he worked for like a season on Project Runway. Keeping up oh. with the Kardashians. Project Runway, big favorite of Eldest is over here. Oh, really? I fucking <laughs> loved Project Runway <laughs> yeah. in college. Yeah, the, we great, used to- the great news is Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn, amazing people. That's oh, awesome. Yeah, they seem awesome. That's awesome. Right? No, I remember going to visit Eldest in college and just. <laughs> Fucking Project Runway was on the living room You're TV. You're like making clothes it's like for this, him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Thursday night at nine. Thursday night at nine. Boys. No way. We're, You're getting fuck, live? we're pre-gaming. Yeah. Oh yeah. Live. Getting fucked up. About to get absolutely no pussy whatsoever. One hundred percent. Just, just the drinking best. a jug of Carlo Rossi. Oh my god, Carlo Rossi. <laughs> I was taking down Carlo Rossi. Smoking what some flavor Chianti or something. What um, was I drinking? In I like the Burgundy. Burgundy. That's no, what I was no. Drinking. I like the one that was like. Fuck. They had one with bubbles that was a red one that I think was maybe. Is Burgundy to be the chilled? only red one? I think there might be another one. I'm like, one there had to like... only be four flavors, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like mine was a it was a lighter red than Burgundy. Mm. I don't yeah, remember. There was though. like another one. I think there was a like pink one or something. Not a pink. Yeah. Interesting. There? Or a white but yeah, one? for those of you who don't know, Carlo Rossi. The, the thinking man's Mad Dog 2020. Yeah. It was just a giant jug of some of the shittiest wine in the world. But yeah. yeah. But that's what size wine should be. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're I'm watching. sick of 750 milliliters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me something I can fu- that needs a handle. <laughs> Give me wine that ne- you pick up like a Only jug. Only like one finger. Yeah, can yeah, 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 yeah. Classy still. <laughs> yeah, we're out there. We're watching our boy Christian. What was his last name? Christian Siriano. We're watching Christian Siriano. Oh, God, I love him. He was he's so from Baltimore, good. right? He's, he's from Baltimore. Now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys have mutual friends? No, no, no but we okay. claim him big time. I had totally. friends who ran yeah. into him. <laughs> yeah. I had friends who ran into him at a bar in Annapolis one time wow. on like wow. Christmas when he was back in Respect, town. Like dude. after he was popping. Dude, we gotta oh we gotta God. get Christian on the show. You got that to. would be so <laughs> we, fucking I think I'd be starstruck. Could. Yeah, you would be impossible. That'd be the only person I'd be starstruck. I was like, I loved watching your designs every week <laughs> in junior year of college. You wear sunglasses the whole episode. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're slowly he's crying. He's tearing up. Absolutely. Mr. Sirianni, I thank you. I think there's a chance he could do it. You know why? Because he is gay. And yeah. gay men do love podcasts. <laughs> they do. They do. They really do. It's, it's a great anomaly where it's like straight men, we're the ones kind of like, 
we're in the furnace room keeping the whole industry. <laughs> we're keeping the whole industry afloat. One hundred percent. But the the glamour podcasters, they're all gay Definite. as hell. You know what I mean? You're so right. Gay about that. and like women and by gossiping. Way, thank you for what yeah. you guys yeah, are yeah, yeah, of course. Because if it wasn't for the thousands of <laughs> atrocious podcasts <laughs> with four reviews from like only their friends, exactly, the industry would we collapse. Have the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The bottom of the podcasting pyramid, <laughs> one of the straightest <laughs> places possible. Yeah, one of the stra- straight is. conspiracy theory yeah. ladies. And it's right fucking winged. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really sick. We may have some friends. We may have some friends we grew up with that are helping out on that. Um, but but yes, gay men love because it's it's once it's set up, it's just it's one of the perfect places to gossip. I mean, it's gabbing. Yeah. It's one of the perfect places to it gossip. It really is. Um, I love it, and that's why you know we're we love go- as as I think Eastern European men who act gay totally see, love that. Eastern European guys. guys act gay but are homophobic, mm. and me and Eldis <laughs> we've taken out the homophobic part. And love we just, that. We just like to gab. We love go- We love gossip. Gossip is <laughs> simply the best thing ever, yeah, yeah. and I hate that. Uh, of course. There's a clause to this. Yeah. But I hate that as kids, we were told, like, don't gossip. Yes. Because it's kind of like, that's almost therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that is what therapy is at the end of the day. So I think I'm going to teach my kids to actively gossip. To gossip. gossip. And the Mm -hmm. thing is, when you gossip, you're kind of like, you understand the stakes because it's like, (laughs) oh, man, I'm, I know I'm talking shit. Yeah. I'm up, like, I'm, now I'm like. I'm eligible to be gossiped about. Right. So I better act correct. Yeah. So you, I think it really kind of, te- where it's like, oh, don't say anything bad about anyone. It's like, okay, we'll just ignore it. And then I'll act right. fucking stupid. No, exactly. You know, no, you got to gossip. You got to know. We, it's a food chain. You have to like eat yeah. and be eaten. And the thing, the thing is, that's just how the world is. Yeah. And if kids think it's not going to be that way, they're in for a fucking rude awakening. Yeah, I'm telling my kids that at one. As <laughs> yeah. soon as they can, before they like know how to say mama. Yeah, yeah. I do love... <laughs> I mean, it's very fucked up how much how much like baby content is on TikTok, mm. but it is awesome to see a baby who has a fucking attitude. I know. That's what like I wish their, their parents should be tried and sent to jail without a doubt. But I do watch the videos where a baby's like, you know, side eyeing their mom, or yeah. a baby's calling their mom fat, or yeah. like you know, they're just like taking back yelling because they got like a you know their little pretzel taken <sighs> totally. away or whatever. Great stuff. I just went through down a rabbit hole of this like hot couple Mm. and um, they're like two kids and all of their content is them like the parents doing something silly and the kids laughing at them Mm. and they I'm sure are making over six figures. Absolutely. Without question. And it is really I can't wait for a documentary in like 10 years. Oh, well, the kids I mean, that started happening where the first like Facebook mom kids have been growing oh. up and because that's the, that was the first were moms going viral on Facebook they weren't go, some of them were but they were all posting crazy right, shit right 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 so right. it's like and like venting and like complaining <laughs> about their kids on their fucking Facebook oh walls oh my god and the so first generation of those kids has like grown up and been like what the fuck yeah I do I am holding out hope that there will be like a swing back generation totally. of like kids who like set fire to computers and just live in the woods like i really yeah. do i am hoping that's going to yeah. happen um but for the time being you know i we know. just i think my theory on why all that baby content is so successful is is the same reason like it's like society is like it used to be the aspirational stuff was just like yeah. money and like hot girls and you would like you would just all the stuff on the internet was stuff for like, the you know, you were like, you're like a kind of <laughs> successful guy, yeah. but you can't afford this and yeah. you can't, you'll never fuck a supermodel. Right. Yeah. But now it's like, that's not even, you're so far <laughs> away from that. That just like having a family that loves and yeah. respects you. Marrying the girl from your hometown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like marrying the like fourth hottest girl from your yes, hometown. Exactly. That's crazy aspirational <laughs> now because these guys are getting there nothing good is happening right. like your life sucks you're you have no you live with your parents so just having like not even an impressive life no just an, an a sweet wife and like a child exactly. that smiles like because i know that it hits me my algorithm i got off that shit because yeah. it was going i was going totally. crazy but my algorithm was all like it was like you know basketball highlights classic uh-huh. it was um like you know steaks you know what I mean? It's like meals. Just literally cooked steaks. Yeah, like just like awesome steaks, <laughs> okay, you know? Okay, love that for you. Um, like the finest cuts of meat. <laughs> it was your traditional big-titted women, you know, of love course. That. And then, But then like the family <laughs> stuff started... Po- and all of them 
were working on me because I wanted all of those things. All, like know. I'm like because I'm 34. Like yeah. I should. My brain is like. You should. This is a ba- this You're is like your baby. You're like making vision boards, and it's like huge boobs, <laughs> yeah, a steak, yeah, and yeah. two gorgeous kids. Dude, just two kids that are like <laughs> dropping a kid off at soccer, <laughs> like teaching a child lessons. Yeah, it's not even looking at a cute baby. It's like teaching him. Yeah, like truly. And my a friend, had, like one of my best friends, had a kid, and I was like, oh fuck, like yeah, I'm invest. Like I want to yeah. show this kid stuff. Totally. I want to hang it. So can be really cool and it's yeah. kind of. Yeah. Shocking. I know, I know. It's fucked up how, like, yeah. it's just going to be completely cyclical and everything you you want to have. Like, what we want is just going to keep shifting. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's like. You th- think you want to have kids? I don't know if I do. It's like, so hard to I'm decide. On, I'm on the fence where it's like if I if whoever I end up with yeah. is, like, gung-ho either way. Yeah. I could see myself being Told- either one of those people. Because I'm a great. That's also a feminist. Th- yeah, thank you. Oh yeah, exactly. Pass the buck, make the woman decide. <laughs> yeah. And then and then resent her when it turns out it wasn't what I wanted. Divorce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Resent her, be like, you fucking bitch. I wanted fucking kids. My name, my family's dying out. You have na- to spread your seed, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. You fucking stopped. On a on a real note, though, it would be great to kill the genes of my family. Sure. Like there is something to be like. These don't need to keep going. Yeah, just end it. Completely. Like, let's get a couple adopted motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, that would be fair. that would be nice because then you could still spread then your last name is carried on yeah yeah so the legacy is still there the legacy the We're just getting legacy. rid of all yeah. the bad shit yeah the Halkis legacy cool. which i believe i think i've told this story in the podcast for, so my great great like eight times great grandfather mm-hmm. Um, so you guys were really close. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Old as shit. The, apparently, the story is that that's not really our name, but that... Th- so he's from an island where the name Halkish was like Johnson or Smith or whatever, uh-huh. and that he had a different name, but that he did something heinous, oh, either no. like like stealing someone, stealing shit, like yeah. fucking someone's wife, which it's in like the you know, 1800s, you couldn't, you know. Yeah. And he left... And it was back in the day where you leave and you change your name, no one finds you. Wow. And the rumor in my family is that our, because someone tried to track like our ancestry yeah. in Greece. And the rumor is that like it stops, like they can't go back and that they think what happened. And like the like gossip, from intergenerational yeah. gossip is that we have an ancestor that just was a piece of shit that fled. Because we're not from the island that that name comes from he grew up in mainland my grandfather grew up in mainland greece and his father was from mainland greece so it's like they're from this one they're from this one village in like mainland greece we don't have any connection to that island and the the that's what everyone that's what everyone's theory is is that he fled the island originally because i met because i only found out about this because i met a bunch of kids in baltimore that are from the island's called carpathos and there's a ton of those kids and they thought they're like, oh, what what party are you from? Like, I don't, I'm not from there. And it was just like, so there's a possibility that these Whoa. genes are really atrocious. They hear your last name, they're like, <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. our great great great, <laughs> yeah, great yeah. grandma told us about yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah, no, there's literally a guy with my last name in Baltimore who like thinks we're cousins. And oh, shit. really? Yeah, you yeah. don't think you are though? Not at all. Yeah, I I've don't. seen some like cool instruments on Facebook, and I'm like, I don't think we're gonna no. we're gonna be friends. Yeah, yeah, but it's. Um, so I don't know. I do think, and I we also have a lot of like undiagnosed mental illness. A lot totally. of hoarders in the family, mm, and that's I, a really tough. A lot of hoarders, and yeah. I don't. I sense it in myself. Like you see that that room where I'm like, I just mm. have the like, ah, this is. Well, I'll use this someday. <laughs> of course, I have that in me. But that's resourceful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for saying that. But yeah, my the comments are like, you are a hoarder. No, dude. I'm a full hoarder. I mean, I'm I'm not because I force myself to throw shit away, Good. but. Give me twenty years it's and hard like to do that. and no family. I think more <laughs> people like, than we can comprehend have a hoarder gene. Yeah, probably. I know so many people that just like keep the most random shit and put it in a corner. Yeah, it's not till you're like moving that you're like, yeah, I don't need this slip of paper. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I need this address of a guy I met one time. <laughs> yeah, four HDMI cables that don't work. I had like <laughs> drink tickets from Union <laughs> yeah, Hall, yeah, and I was no. like, I surely don't. I, also, they're all color coordinated, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. did I think I was gonna like scam yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And be like, tonight's a green night. I yeah. can bring all my green. <laughs> this co- really tickets. old, this like faded poop, you know. <laughs> Just to get a green $7 ticket. tequila yeah. soda. <laughs> I straight up have out there uh, drink tickets from the fucking creek in the cave, which hasn't wow. been which hasn't been open for four years, right. five years. Those are going on eBay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
So that's a that's a German ass sounding name. Do you have yeah. any? Do you feel? Do you have like any kind of German shit? The, going we have. On? There's like a Kuhlenschmidt farm in Germany. Okay. Really small town, like okay. truly middle of nowhere. And I did go in like sixth grade or something, okay. and <laughs> met like. I don't even know how they're related to us technically, mm -hmm. but like in my like direct lineage, no one was in Germany since like so long ago. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Like they all moved to the US. But um right around like nineteen forty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. covering my ass. No, they I think they moved here like BC or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> they, um, yeah. <laughs> when we met my my German cousins, when they're just like I mean I'm so pale, but yeah. truly just imagine half as, yeah, or yeah, like yeah. twice as pale That's as me. That's hilarious. And we, they don't, they are smart and like spoke English and everything. Yeah. Also, they were all like going to Cambridge and yeah. shit for yeah, mathematics. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> but like, we had nothing to talk about. Yeah. And we took a family photo of like my, me and my mom, my dad, my brother, and then like the four of them. And in the photo, the four of us are like smiling and the four of them are just like, <laughs> and I, we were like looking at the photos after we were like what the fuck yeah but in, i no guess it's smiles. just like not normal i mean it's yeah. like why german people do we smile in photos it's weird interesting german people yeah. take photos like rappers <laughs> <laughs> they won't they, they won't exactly be, they're crossing they their arms yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they that's went funny full charlie's angels yeah oh that's pretty cool <laughs> i guess that i mean we it's my i mean my cousins i'm so related to them so it's like they definitely feel like family just in yeah. a different language and they're definitely the same like w the cultural the cultural changes yeah. does not happen because my parents were born in greece i'm the me and my brothers were the first people born here mm. so i definitely feel like that connection to them but we have we have other parts of the family where it's like yeah i have like a cousin who a second cousin who that motherfucker was just like he went to he went to MIT weirdly and like just mm. never told us he was in America. He was like this fucking genius. And he like, and then his wife, uh, his wife also MIT. And then they just like moved to Singapore. Like, Oh my God. It is really fucking interesting how quickly your family can like diverge. Yeah. Like this motherfucker was, we'd go to the beach when I was a little kid. And you know, the other side of my family is all exactly the same people. They're loud mouths. They're yeah. pieces of shit. They're like, you know, uh, just insulting you, the hoarder, mm -hmm. like my my fat little hoarder aunt who keeps little trinkets from every <laughs> European city she's visited. Like uh, also to be a fat a fat hoarder is like so specifically yeah. that's the elite. That's the that's top the, of the top. Yeah, 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 absolutely. A skinny hoarder is like, well, come on. Skinny hoarder is like, all right, just get on pills, <laughs> and it'll fix it immediately. Fat, fat hoarder, hoarder is so sick. there's some. Oh yeah, and she's like, she's so funny. She's like four feet tall, just like round as fuck. Her husband, my my uh, uncle, is like has truly the roundest <laughs> stomach you've ever seen in your life, like and like can balance a little cup. On no it. joke, like actually maybe not because it's too round, like oh, it's too perfectly spherical. That is There's so no beautiful. give. There's no give. That's so like, stunning. You hit his stomach, it sounds like a fucking djembe. <laughs> it's like bung bung, like oh it's fucking God. crazy. It sounds like you drop a rock like into a <laughs> yeah yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. He's had diabetes for thirty years. Eats like a fucking pig. Doesn't give a fuck at all. Just I guess is cool to die. Like totally. still, you know, he's pretty old, but he's still yeah. making it work. By the way, they know the best restaurants in Athens. It's fucking awesome eating oh, I with bet. them. Um, How often do you go to Greece? I went. I had. I didn't go last year because shit just got a little crazy. But yeah. I, I try and go every year. Cool. Now um, it's cool to go. It's cool to go. I mean, it's different because like Germany doesn't really mean shit to you. But like, mm -hmm. it's cool to go. Because we used to go with my family, and I was like, fuck, Greece is annoying. Yeah. And then I went by myself, and I was like, oh, no, my family's annoying. Greece is, like, the pl right. sickest place and in the culturally, world. Right, and culturally, like, yeah. oh. You're just walking cool. around, you're right by the fucking Parthenon, just seeing all this shit. That it's is fucking so awesome. Cool. Um, yeah, I know. Whenever I think about going to Germany, I'm like, the only place I could think of going is, like, Berlin. But I'm like, yeah. I don't know if I like ketamine enough to go <laughs> yeah, to Berlin. Yeah, 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 All my yeah, friends yeah. are like, you fucking have to go. Yeah. And I'm like, you're doing ketamine 24 of hours course, a day. Of course, of course. Not a big so drug I'm guy. I'm sure it's... I like drugs, but ketamine is not doing it for yeah. me. It's not my top girl, for it's, sure. Yeah, what, what, how would we rank them? What would you say? Mm, I'm trying to think what I can say on a podcast. You can say whatever you want on a podcast. I do really like Coke. I think it's yeah, really fun. Yeah, respect. <laughs> yeah. Fat Coke users, Absolutely. respect. I know. I'm like, one day it's going to make me so yeah. scared. Yeah. I, I, when I turned 30, I made the decision, like, be fat. It's like, after 30, it's either be fat or do Coke. It's, oh it's not both after 30, gotcha, in my gotcha. opinion. Just too many fat men comedians met their demise that way where I was like, and I could feel it too when I would do you cocaine. 
And I would be like, this, something's wrong. My heart is working too yeah. hard. Oh. You know when your laptop, the fan starts going really that's, loud? <laughs> that's exactly what that's my the heart was doing. That's perfect metaphor <laughs> yeah. I've ever heard in my life. And it's like, I'm sure I can finish sending this email and exporting this video, but after that, I'm going to give it a... You're so I'm going to give it... A, I'm going right. to put it under like the... I'm going to open up my fridge and put my laptop in here. The charger is literally so like hot. steaming. You can make an egg on it. Oh my that's, God. that's what it felt like when I did cocaine. Yeah. And I, I mean, was like, there's no worse anxiety, in my opinion, yeah. than the day after. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like... Yeah. The best and worst drug, for sure. I, it really is horrible the next day. It, yeah, I mean, it's... And, and, like, the times I did it, it was pretty fun. But I also think... I don't think I'm generally predisposed to, like, having a good-ass time on it. I think I'm a downers guy, unfortunately. Really? I like pills. I like... Totally, that's I used fair. to like cough syrup back in yeah. high school. Or, I'm sorry, in college. <laughs> Love that for you. Yeah, yeah oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, what, chopped what and screwed. Called? What was the purple... Uh, Promethazine. Oh, yeah, but what did people mix it with? Sprite or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, purple drink, yep. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. You were doing that? Did it a couple styrofoam times, cups. pretty fun. Yeah, styrofoam <laughs> cups, Jolly Ranchers, just wanting <laughs> totally. to be cool so bad. Like, in a dorm room. <laughs> Where like, did you just, go to college? I went to UMBC, okay, gotcha. which sucks, which yeah. is, like, a really embarrassing school <laughs> sure. to go no, to. No, it's okay. Um, and it was just me and my friend, also not cool, mm. just, like, drinking cough <laughs> syrup in his dorm, playing, like, you know, Final Fantasy or so. Like I was, I'm watching him play like some yeah. video game or something, yeah. and being like, "Yeah, dude," and then getting too fucked up to like go out. Like sure. the plan was, we're just gonna do some of this, and then we just got, we got, <laughs> we did so much cough syrup and just got so high, we didn't go anywhere. His girlfriend like came to check on us. Oh and no! And we we're like, "Wow, well, we're good. You go take off like, about you us." You can tell the bitches they can go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna make it tonight. <laughs> Probably so <laughs> yeah, I got no pussy in college <laughs> until the end when I had a I had a girlfriend. I was just yeah, I, it's some of my biggest regret. And then it was like me, I had this college girlfriend. It was clear it wasn't going to work out. Sure. Like in my because she met me when I was, I did a year of like. I I started doing comedy when I was like nineteen. Okay, and then I Damn, had this that's early cool. Yeah, and I had this like like you know immigrant guilt. And so I quit and was like, I'm going to be so serious about school for a year. I'm going to give this a shot. Yeah. If I can do this, I'm good at it. And I like it. I'll just go to college and mm -hmm. make my family happy. And uh, she met, we met in that year where I was like so good at school. Like we were in the same scholarship program. Wow. And then we started dating and then instantly, it was like literally <laughs> just the way it timed out. It was like, I was like, fuck, this sucks, dick. I'm not doing college. Like yeah. I'm not trying anymore. Yeah. And I'm just do open mics, get fucked up all the time. She, yeah. like, wanted to, like, you know, have, like, a family, like, right out of college oh, and shit. Oh, God. Yeah, she was, she, she was a great, great person. Oh, I'm sure. Awesome. Yeah, and, like, her like... family was, like, like, every, every, like, both her, like, siblings married their, like, high school sweethearts, and it worked. Like, this <gasps> weird, when they were, you meet these people, and it's, like. It's always weird when you hear families like that. They, it's great. They all loved each other so, wow. n like, they were so nice. Dad was so hardworking, like, sacrificed for that. Like, wow. I was, like, it would literally confuse me when I would go to their Thanksgiving. So I'm really like, everyone is just, like, the the biggest family drama was, like, one aunt is kind of rude sometimes. Oh, <laughs> like, no. and, they, and it was, like, and they would be, like, yeah, watch out. She's coming. And it would be, like, just, she was just kind of a bitch, <laughs> but also, like, like would You're say, like, oh, I'm did sorry. You, did you hear her? Yeah, yeah, you didn't hear her say thank you, did you? Yeah, literally, no, <laughs> like literally shit like that. It was fucking crazy. But I, my, my regret is like me and my, and then I was finally cool in college, but I was like, no, nah, I'm going to like, I'm just going to keep doing, like one girl fucked me, so I'm going to just totally. keep doing, you know, keep doing this, yeah. but. It was a very embarrassing school, too. Once you get too. fucked for the first time, Once though, you get a little bit of pussy pie. There's no going there's, back. There's, there's no going back, brother. You gotta... I do you, remember losing my virginity and being like, yeah, I should have been doing this eight years ago. <laughs> yeah. As if I could have. Yeah, right. Exactly, exactly. I wanted to get fucked in high school so bad. There ain't no shot. It wasn't even close. That's so fucking funny. Oh. Were you, in high school though, were you, you just wanted to fuck dudes or how did yeah, it work? Yeah, I mean, I was really, like, when I say closeted, like, you don't have to get sad about it. Like, right, right, right. I had So closeted, no you didn't idea. know you were gay. I thought I was the, I thought it was, like, ironic to be on the softball team. Yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> You're like, isn't it funny? Well, me, one of the straightest girls of all time is Literally playing softball. Not. And I'm like, and the catcher of all positions. <laughs> I'm like, down.
down in a squat, like <laughs> literally spitting out yeah, sunflower yeah, seeds. Yeah, like, yeah. can't wait to have a crush on a boy later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I had no idea. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, and then in college, basically, I went to a liberal arts school, so okay. it was pretty fast after Everyone's that. Everyone's gay. A friend of mine like told me that a girl had a crush on me, and I didn't even like her back. I just was like, oh, I'm gonna be gay. Just the idea of a girl wanting to fuck yeah. you was like. So oh. now it's kind of like was being gay a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was yeah, it just yeah. the easier route? Was for the first me person to... who tried to fuck you happened to be a woman? So now you you're know what? gay. I did actually have um, sex with four guys. Oh wow, I four. Feel really proud of that. Four is a good number. I know because you kept going like one or two. It's like all right, let's give it a whirl. Exactly. Three, you're right. Right, up, but the fourth is really what does it. <laughs> Number also, four. They were really all in like four months. Like okay. I, I really was on a roll for yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. And One a then month. just a total dry spell for yeah. me. Was this college? And then I you fucked these guys. Yeah, in college. Okay. Yeah, freshman year. Okay, so let's let's start with high school. The the sure. boys you wanted to potentially have a crush on. What what did those guys look like? So here's the thing: is yeah. like I should have. It's a, too obvious. Like yeah, 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 they yeah. were the hottest guys in my class. Yeah. <laughs> Like Bo, Chad, and Chris. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah they yeah, were yeah. fucking Just like ripped. on. They were like the kids who, like in eighth grade, were on every single sports team. Right. Because they right, were just right. that athletic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they all had six packs. Yeah, and it was just yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no chance That's ever. That's so funny. That's actually so cute. I that know. That you were like so, like you had like Disney Channel brain. Yeah. Where it was like, <laughs> I was basically having celebrity crushes. Yeah, but just on the kids that were like, we're the best on the baseball team. That's so fucking funny. And then they'd obviously like date my friends. Oh, and yeah, I'd yeah, be like, yeah. this is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to be in the same room with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> that is a a standard. I think clo like I think you can tell if a guy is closeted if every woman he's ever dated is just ten out of ten totally. like model hot because it's like if you're straight, someone's gonna get it. Something you're gonna right? have somebody fucked up looking in the mix where you're just like, yeah, she just does it for me. <laughs> yeah. But it's like if that doesn't, if there's not some primal urge to fuck a yeah. weird looking person yeah i don't trust it like you know what? that's why i always say like thank god i'm not i wasn't like conventionally attractive straight girl because i probably would have never gotten out yeah <laughs> i would have just dated the hottest guys and i would have gotten addicted to yeah it. you would have gotten addicted to being a, a, a minor celebrity in your hometown <laughs> exactly yeah. and it would have been like you would have been like, gotten divorced and oh like my god. it would have been like you literally would have gotten divorced and you would have had like a pr but you would have had a pretty sick like when you found out you were gay, it would have been yeah. really awesome. I know. I think you're right. But it would. But right. that. But the trade off is it's like saving up. Right. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, instead of to... getting to fuck women a lot for like yeah. ten years, you would have fucked no one, and then you would have had like a cool, <laughs> a cool like with like a, a woman at your gym who oh, like. Oh God! And it would have been hot. Amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I wish I could have been gay in high school so bad. Yeah. Um. Also, because I did go to an all girls high school, oh, and I'm just wow. like. Whew. Were the gay girls fucking in those, or was it too um, repressed? Yeah, but like, this is how I will describe it. Yeah, <laughs> was the it like gay girls that I knew, they were also, and there's nothing wrong with this, but they were like also addicted to anime. Oh wow! So I was just like, I, awesome. I don't see myself. You know what I mean? I was for like, cultural reasons. Yeah, like yeah. I, I truly was like, I can't be gay because only gay people I know are addicted to anime <laughs> or are literally my. My constantly sweating theology teacher <laughs> who creeped me out. So I was like, there I'm just fucked and I couldn't wow. I couldn't be gay. Oh. Gay anime girl. See, I am not we're familiar with a lot of anime people on Yeah, and on, none of them are lesbians? I don't think like to, what comes to mind immediately is like just ugly straight kids that would fuck each other. Maybe like yeah. a bi girl and like yeah. that classic like would fuck like fucks a ton anyone kind of like totally. bi girl yeah bi girls are like, always doing that you know no, 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 no. fucking everyone yeah you know you know they're fucking sick in the head they, they, they just they pick one and stick with it um, yeah we're, it's like you're like homophobic only towards bi people it's like either gay or straight yeah, come on um, but there was there was like I I say that because there was like. There was a weird hypersexuality to the anime kids I knew because mm -hmm. they were You're ugly right. as shit, but they all fucked each other. And there was like, and so I don't know that I knew any like, like purely lesbian ones. Sure. At least in high, I'm thinking, of, I'm basically just thinking of the kids I went to high school yeah, with, yeah, right? Yeah. So you have this them is, lined up in your This brain is a small right sample size. Literally, I'm <laughs> yeah. looking at them right now. And mo like, I went to, I w we talked about this also in the Jamel episode. It was like, it's a lot of like, it's just a lot of, 
it, the guys I knew were either like the fattest guy of all time or the <laughs> lankiest kids You're in the so world. Right. And they all had like fucked up hair. Like you wanted him to be on the basketball team, but he had zero oh, yes. percent muscle. Yes, the coach <laughs> would like talk to him, and he just wouldn't even be able to make eye contact with him. He was so scared of sports, <laughs> and they all had fucked up hair. No matter yeah. no matter the the like totally. race. If yeah. it's like a, a white guy with oily fucked up hair, it's like a black guy with the worst like hairline you've ever never got his shit lined up, weird fro, that bra like fucked up braids. And for whatever reason though, all the and, and like there was like but all the girls in it were just like like chubby, hypersexualized mm. by girls totally. that like fucked each other, then also fucked all the guys. And like all the anime kids were getting pussy, but they were such losers that it did, it was, no one was impressed by it. What is and it even, about that? Even me, who I wasn't getting any pussy. Even I was like, well, at least I'm not an anime. <laughs> it was like this weird thing where it's like, I know. it's like you could pretend to like anime and fuck these girls if you want, but yeah. then you're an anime kid. Right. You know what I mean? So. I know. And instead I'm, I was the kid where it's like, <laughs> I'm trying to like make fun of an anime kid and then I'm looking at myself and I'm going, well, I have no hobbies. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my hobby is like right now having three beers. Yeah. Uh, I'm like 17, like just got drunk for the first yeah, time. Yeah, like that's yeah, yeah. my only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing but, softball, yeah. having three beers. Yeah. Well, I was also, I was big into sports for like in what high school. What were your sports? Um, I played football. I played cool. I played soccer first and football. I wrestled for a little bit. I tried to play basketball, but I've been five seven since eighth grade. Totally. Uh, I played on the middle school basketball it. team, and uh -huh. I was like, "Wow, my growth spurt's coming any day." Like I tried out for <laughs> my high school. That's because at that age, it is. It, it's it supposed could. to happen. Yeah. Me and Eldis were like similar sized kids in elementary school, and then this motherfucker's six six. <laughs> He's a full foot taller than me. It's fucking atrocious. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> a waste. Doesn't have any of this natural <laughs> yeah, musculature. <seriously. laughs> Or talent. <laughs> you want to talk about the the guy the basketball coach begged, but he was too much of a pussy to play sports. Yeah, that's him. he's in the room right now. Yeah. <laughs> and my high my high school was an art high school, and they had like a horrible basketball team. But kids would like come up to me from the team every day and like would beg me to play. I was like, because when know. did you turn six six? I mean, you were pretty. I was probably pretty locked in by like middle school. I yeah, would like say. So, I would say at least Ow. freshman. I've sophomore probably only year. grown like a couple inches since middle school. But yeah, you Holy were like you shit. were definitely like yeah. six two by high school yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. dude, you have the coolest life ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks. I think I'm so. Inspired. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was those were kind of my hobbies. I was like, I can't be. And I even like quit because I was like a theater little kid. Yeah. And then, but then I literally in seventh grade, something switched where I was like, theater's actually gay and I'm fucking cool and do sports. <laughs> so totally. there was like a, there was a, like a switch that just flipped. And what were you doing in theater? <sighs> One year it was uh, you're a good man, Charlie Brown. I did that you know? too. Come on. I'm, I was, Ooh. I was born to be Charlie Brown at that age. Ooh, um, uh, lead. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then we did some shit in elementary school. We also had a, a very gay, um, a, a English teacher that yeah. like really had a good drama program going in all elementary wow. school. Remember, I'm, I won't say his name, but we would literally take field trips to see him do theater. It was so funny. It would be like in hindsight now, that's so weird. That, like, your field trip was seeing your teacher in a play. But was he good? I don't remember. I think I remember. I think so. I mean, so. you're, like, brainwashed I by, I like, respected him, and I was like, he's time. awesome at the time. But, you know, respect to him, though. That's that's actually a pretty awesome move to be like, all right, I know how we can get at least 30 tickets sold. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all the kids in the audience. You can't even see yeah, them yeah, yeah, because yeah, they're, yeah, like, yeah. shorter than the seat. A hundred percent. He's basically laundering, like, curriculum money yeah. to pay for the tickets <laughs> to get some, like, people in those seats. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. That rocks. Yeah, I didn't do theater either because I was, like, it's kind of nerdy. Yeah, And yeah. my brother did it, and I made so much fun That's of him. hysterical. My whole life. And then it's like I'm the one who ends up in entertainment. Yeah, yeah. So well, he's like, he he he's gonna hold this grudge on me course, forever. Of course, of course. Because I was like calling him gay for yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like I'm gay, so yeah, yeah it was pretty fucked yeah, up. Yeah, flipped, flipped yeah, on you really fast. <laughs> um, it's so funny that your brother is a reality TV producer. And you're like, you know, you know, and I'm the one in the ridiculous. Uh, job with a ridiculous <laughs> job. On the one yeah, you're the, so right. He's, he's, he's not, you know, he's good no, for him. Sometimes he does look at his job and he's like, what am I doing <laughs> <Yeah>. in the world? <laughs> Who am I helping? But I'm like addicted to reality TV. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. This does keep falling, but. That's okay. Do your best. Just sorry that it's. Uh, That's okay. Eldest, do you have any 
pointers for I got it. I think we're good now. It's okay. looking good. It's looking and, good. And uh, we'll assess if it falls again. Okay, okay great. great. <laughs> so you go from being uh, you having crushes on little Zach Efron's. Yeah. To oh my god, literally. Who's who so who was it in, in college? Who are the I'm guessing you're in a liberal arts school, so there's they're not yeah. like traditionally hot guys or who who are these guys who are the who are the fantastic four okay thank you for asking <laughs> yeah. um okay the first guy i got to be honest no idea who he was <laughs> so that's awesome way to lose your virginity that's, that is sick <laughs> yeah whenever i tell that i'm like oh it's interesting yeah. um i think the second guy was on the soccer team and oh, that nice. was cool. that is pretty cool um and then after that liberal arts school soccer team is the football team yeah, You're completely yeah, right. Yeah, about there's that. no, yeah, that's yeah. They the were like the hottest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and then after that was like my friend's friend who visited, mm. who was really hot. Oh wow! And nice. then the fourth one was a a townie from the local oh, no. navy base. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he and I fucked like six or seven <laughs> times, and and I have no idea what was going that's on. That's really in my interesting. Brain. I know, and I don't a know navy how townie. old he was. Yeah. I'm like. Praying he was not over 25. Sure. And you're what, 19, but, 18? Yeah, I was probably 19. Okay. But he could have been 28. Easy. But I mean, it, well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Nah, whatever. But, like, yeah. That's interesting. What about this townie? Made it so that he keeps coming back. You think Absolutely it was he was just question. persistent? Literally, he that he was down. He was just down. And I did it. not care. Yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. every time I had sex with a guy, it yeah. was almost as if nothing was happening. <laughs> like, if I could have been on my phone, that would have been awesome. <laughs> and then the first time I literally just held hands with a girl, yeah. I'm not kidding, like, cummed, cummed everywhere. <laughs> it was crazy. My body was like, this is sex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not vaginal penetration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hand so, holding. Looking yeah, into each other's crazy. eyes. Yeah, truly. That's that's fucking hilarious. I know, but he was funny. And my I like even brought him to a college party one time. And everyone was <laughs> like, so what? My friends were like... <laughs> <laughs> That's such a hot, wild move. Yeah, it's one thing to scared. fuck a guy a bunch of times. Who cares? But it's like to bring a navy townie, especially to a liberal arts school. Yeah. That's a fucking and awesome move. It was awesome. <laughs> he had a boot on the whole time. He had like a broken foot. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> that is a great like like one to go out on. Yeah. You know. I know. I'm I'm happy that's that he a was fun my one. last. Yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 That's special. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah You're exactly. a patriot. I know. I'm basically a navy wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Without a doubt. That is like. That kind of is like one of the worst guys. Like, it's just a perfect <laughs> thing as to be like, yeah, I'm just gay. Yeah. And I knew because I tried. I fucked maybe the straightest type of guy possible. Without a Like, doubt. older loser. I don't know what we army. could have possibly talk about. Yeah, that's the best part. It's like, you fuck a person a couple times when you're drunk, whatever. But it's like, after a while, you got to hang out sober at least a yeah. little bit. And it's yeah. like. That seems, w like, worse than the actual, like, you know, DMV, standing in line in the DMV style sex that you're describing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like exactly. the conversation sounds worse. Right. Than, like, also, I'm positive I was so bad at that sex. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, right, I can't right. even imagine. I probably was, like, <laughs> on top and, like... <laughs> just like moving my shoulders <laughs> there's no way i was doing anything yeah, to impress yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and to be fair he did just like i think he just kind of ghosted me and i was like right. all right fine cool um so i'll give him that credit yeah, of yeah, like yeah. i don't think he was like addicted to me yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. i wasn't doing much yeah i wonder if he thinks about it's still like what was up with I, that yeah, girl I, he probably let's, can't let's stop let's find him about me. let's find him you should do that <laughs> you should do a reunion let your I brother did, i tried to google him like a year ago <laughs> yeah. but i I can never figure. His name was Eric, and I never knew how to spell it because mm, sure. there's kind of a lot of ways to spell C -K -K. it. C K K. Yeah, so I guess C H, but that's kind of strange. I know, but I'm like, I kind of think it was C H. <laughs> oh, that's even worse. I know. <laughs> I know. You fucked a guy named A R Y C H. Hey, Eric. Hi, Eric. <laughs> uh, a time traveler, a Nordic time traveler. Yeah, so that was fun. But then you know. <laughs> Coming out was, like, the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I have yeah, to say, yeah. also, like, always being fat, too. Yeah. Coming out was the best thing that ever happened to yeah. me. <laughs> girls, like, didn't care. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was always so well aware. Like, oh, yeah, these dudes want to fuck a skinny girl. Mm. And then I came out, and I was like, oh, 
I yeah. am I am like in the starting lineup. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Good for you. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely, <laughs> I mean, look, who are you telling? Girls don't care. It's my whole life. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that actually is a big upgrade totally. to be like, cause to go from like how judgmental men are sexually to like right? women who are just, if you're I cool. Know. And it's, I, I got I to gotta assume that goes even double for lesbians. Like, Lesbians must be even cooler with a fat person yeah. than straight because plenty of straight definitely. women will definitely be in the like of course. traditional, but you can find a healthy percentage that aren't. But yeah, and I, there are some lesbians that are, suck. Yeah, of course, of course, there have to, there has to be. Yeah, that's equality. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they and boy do they suck. Yeah, <laughs> boy, <do> they. <laughs> even worse, even worse, even worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was like um, I really feel like I went from like a straight three to like a gay six. Nice. <laughs> Come on. I felt that way Seven. even in Chicago. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like, now that I'm in New York, I'm, like, back to a five. But, right. like, when New I York's go to Chicago, I'm an eight. Oh, Chicago, forget about it. Yeah. You and Lori Lightfoot getting all the pussy in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and you know we're constantly hanging out. Yeah. How do you know that's my BFF? <laughs> Just wearing big suits She's together. She's the dopest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. She's my style in too. Yeah. <laughs> she looks so <laughs> sick. Uh, so, yeah, you might, so you're coming right off Pride. Mm. Now, what's pride like as a lesbian? Because, look, Thanks we all know me. gay men, they're sucking and fucking at the Chase Bank Big glory time. hole. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's awesome. Yeah. But I, I wonder, what you guys just having a nice party? Is it like a Yeah, a I had like a, a pregame. <laughs> so what are you guys doing making muffins I had a pregame and it, we raised a lot of money for the Girl Scouts. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> I had a pregame and it was just like the loveliest, yeah. calmest <laughs> thing yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. But I even just, I signed up for this new gym in my area and it's mostly gay men mm. and i am like watching their eyes go left and right it's crazy how different our cultures are sure of course when they're rooted in the same thing almost. yeah 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 no because it's like it's like they're so they're two kind of extremes in a weird way they kind of average out to what yeah. all straight people are like <laughs> right but because but, but it's just like you kind of have to it's like as chill as lesbians are and as, like, yeah. just over the top having a good time right. <laughs> as gay dudes are, it's, like, kind of, you know. Like, I, I don't imagine too many lesbians are, like, you know, doing cocaine and listening to Charlie XCX at 7 a.m. So that's what, what I'm doing. Oh, that's you. Oh, that's <laughs> so awesome. So that's why I'm kind You're of, You're trying to like, bridge the community. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So that's why I'm, like, I am almost... I Sometimes I veer into gay guy territory. Mm. I think only with my, like, taste in music. Sure. Oh, okay. Because I am listening to Charlie XCX, Kim that. Petra, Slater. Gotcha. So, but um, besides that, yeah, I definitely do feel... Sometimes I'm, I'm con even confused by gay men. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. and they... Honestly, lesbians are so much chiller. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I went to a gay gym. I was in L.A., and I went to a gay gym. Yeah. And I've never felt worse about myself. No! And they were so fucking rude and mean. And they're jacked. And they're so much stronger. So it's like, yeah. it's like they're, they're like catty, and they're superior to me physically. Yeah. In like, and not just in, like, a uh, optics way, but in, like, the way a straight guy wants to be strong. Yeah. These guys are so much stronger than me. Like, totally. I remember just, like... <laughs> These gay guys were just like, and they were like, not not that jacked, but they were strong and they were on a machine I wanted to use. And they were just on it for like 40 minutes. And I right. kept kind of like being like, Are you and they yet? were so dismissive and didn't give a fuck. It was like, I kind of respected it, but it really was like, wow. they were so mean. Yeah. <laughs> and they were just like, I was like, damn, I am, this is not my, but then again, yeah, an another couple, nice amount of them kind of gave me like, Gave me some looks where it's like, oh, they probably would blow me in the sauna, oh, which kind of, which did, was it, really what's an ego sweet. boost, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. They needed to give you that look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise, yeah, you would like never smile again. Yeah, yeah. No, totally. I needed them really to balance out their mean friends. 100%. Um, but, you know, they weren't the hottest ones. And then I, and even, it got, <laughs> oh, come it, on. it even, hey. it even called me, they even got me in that mindset. You know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah, now it's like, like, all right, I could give a blowjob. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like the hot guy <laughs> off, but I'm not sucking off the ugly guy yeah, of course. <laughs> um all right well look what do you say we do some we take some questions here from the audience grace Perfect. i feel like we've gotten to know you well enough you know uh, we see we see your your background you got a girl boss mom uh uh kind of bisexual dad even though he's straight <laughs> you know your brother's working in reality tv you yeah. got you've really lived a life 
um, you fucked that weird townie. I mean, yeah, you're bringing you. yeah. you're bringing some great experiences to <laughs> I, these people. I'm so glad that's on my resume. <laughs> yeah. those, those, those are the four. This the girl f- fucked a townie. She's gonna give amazing <laughs> advice. <laughs> and you see, you have bounced back from it. Thank you know, because people, you. we've all fucked some atrocious people in our time. I know Eldis has. <laughs> I know that I, we you were only, roommates. You've only fucked gorgeous Oh, no, no. I've sure. got some tough ones on the resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, no, no. Absolutely. I've got some tough ones. But we've all, oh, the three of us, I think we have that in common. We've really yeah. bounced back That's, from some horrendous hookups. So, I knew we were brothers. <laughs> yeah, we were. Absolutely. <laughs> so why don't we, why don't we play some, uh, some voicemails here, Eldis? Davi, what up, working, brother? Dumbass. Davi, what up, brother? Yo, I just got a little uh, predicament I'm in. Um, I work in the bar industry, uh, and I met this, you know, this lovely Australian broad. Nice. And uh, the thing I didn't know is she comes from a family of money, bro. Nice. So listen. I'm not in love with this chick. She wants me to move to Australia, all this and that. She has a kid. <laughs> she has a kid? But she'll be, like, buying me these expensive gifts and shit, and she still lives on Australia. On Australia. So I guess mm-hmm. the question I'm asking is, bro, should I just pack up and move to Australia, bro, and just start, start, start my new life, dude? I'm 21, you know? 21. I just moved out here to New York and um, getting the feet under me, and I met this woman, bro. And, you know, she, she's attractive. She's an attractive lady. I just got out of a relationship. It was pretty bad, pretty toxic, but, you know, I don't, I don't know, bro. Um, let me know what you think, bro, what I should do, if I should... Try to convince her to move out here. Or if I should think about moving to Australia, um, should I just keep pushing, bro? Find another woman, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. That is so good. This poor kid thinks he's gonna move to Australia. Oh, like, man. don't. What are you out of your fucking it? mind? Oh. First of all, you figured something out about yourself, though, right? You just got out of this pretty toxic relationship. You apparently, now you sound dumb as shit, right? You're not a smart guy, no chance. But it sounds like you're a piece of ass. Sounds like you're hot. If you're in New York. just getting that sense too. New York bartender who some hot, rich Australian lady wants you to be her kept man. You have a self-esteem problem, my friend. You're holding, Mm. you have the keys to a great life. A hot guy, one of the, there's a hot guy that lives off like women is I, I would say the top of the pyramid in terms of pieces of shit. Right. right? You are a piece of shit, don't get me wrong. You live a piece of shit yeah. life. You're a leech on someone else. But you're, this is the best leech to be. I know guys who just fu- like, fuck. It's, it's like, it's getting to be a gold digger without the, stig- without the miso- misogynistic stigma, right? right? So I say enjoy, you have that ability, you're young, you're clearly hot, um, if she's willing to do this. And I would say, First of all, what, you're going to move to fucking Australia and be a stepdad? Are you out of your... How <laughs> old is your kid? That's the that's the part where I'm like, absolutely not. Yeah, that's the, tu- that's the toughest one. You're like, what do you... you like, should you convince her to move to New York, what, with her fucking kid? You want, you want this woman to move her child to a different country so that she can buy you a couple fucking watches? He almost said in the voicemail, like, no lie, I could be an amazing dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no you do not move to australia now she wants to fly you out for a little vacation Definitely. she wants to she wants to keep cash apping you she wants to keep doing you all that stuff that's all good and well but you have to understand you are you are basically like you're a sugar baby here, yeah you know and that's fine you know sex work is work mm-hmm. but you got you're gonna you gotta you are a sex worker here and you have the ability to be kind of a Part-time gigolo, it sounds like. Yeah, it does. If you just backed your way into this, imagine if you start trying and you start believing in yourself. Yeah. And by the way, I'm not saying take advantage of anyone. Everyone knows what the fuck the score is on on arrangements like this. No one thinks... This lady doesn't think a 21-year-old is her fucking soulmate. I mean, unless she's dumb as shit, which she (laughs) very likely could be. But I would say don't move to Australia. Now, if this was like Philly, if this was even LA or something, if this was continental United States, I'd say... I mean, it doesn't sound like you got too much going on. You right. moved to New York for... What did you move to New York for? That's one question. Uh, do you have dreams? What, what, what are you doing? And I don't think it's wrong to kind of... 
fuck your way to a couple to some financial security here. Right. You have the ability to. Why not give it a whirl? But do not move to fucking Australia. That's insane. I know. The crazy part though is that you just said Philly, and I'm like, I would say move to Australia over Philly, <laughs> <laughs> just because rich in Australia could be unbelievable. Yeah, like, I'm imagining, I watched Troy Savon's Architectural Digest. Okay. <laughs> and he has a sick house, dude. I would live there. Yeah, but here's the thing. This this guy could get sex trafficked in Australia. Yeah, he, like, he doesn't right. know. He doesn't right. know anyone. Yeah. This lady, this might be her thing. She might have a little fuck, a bunch of twenty one year old hunks in her fucking basement somewhere. No <laughs> papers. No takes your fucking passport. Oh, no. no way to get home. I'm saying it's too risky to go to Australia. Yeah. Um, also, uh, this is how I've always felt. Is because I feel like I've I've heard this question before. Of like, do I just go with a rich person? Yeah. There are so many rich people in there the world. really are and most of them are actually hot yeah, yeah. so i don't think yeah. you should be like she's attractive and she's rich there's a lot of those people yeah there really are So i just say keep working keep working you're you just got to the city yeah you're gonna fucking give up now dude and also milk this lady for all she's worth Right. Get a couple gifts out. Get a couple more gifts out of it. Yeah. Tell her it's hard to make rent. Tell her, send her a jacket you really want. And be like, yeah. mm, I really want it. Yeah. And see what happens. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And to let use. her know you just got out of this toxic relationship. Right, you right, know, right. she can only really feel for you. Yeah, that's true. Use that to your advantage. <laughs> I'm just worried about this kid because he really could be manipulated. Like, sound, this lady sounds kind of nice. Yeah, you know she what I mean? Does. But if if the wrong rich lady comes up I against know. him, he's fucking cooked. I know. You're like you're too way too easily swayed. Too I wonder yeah. what she's buying him. I know. It's like I fuck. wonder what an expensive She took him gift to Chili's. <laughs> this guy came from fucking Dayton. <laughs> he's like, "Oh my he god." Shake Shack for the first yeah, time. Yeah. He's like, "This is $4 more than McDonald's." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, dude, this is a good sign for you. It sounds like you need to believe in yourself a little more. I would work on self-esteem first and foremost. You might be fucked up about this, uh, you know, toxic relationship. You might, you sound like the kind of guy who's like a sweet, dumb idiot who like women can take advantage of. Yeah. And you're kind of, you know, I, I would say just take a little, don't take advantage of anyone, but like believe in yourself, be a little assertive and, you know. Charge for that sweet dick you got in those jeans. He sounds so cute. He does sound like a cute I guy. I feel like he has the best face yeah, ever. Yeah, he must be hot for he, this to be going He on. looks like he probably has like a gap model face. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, baby yeah. face but has a six pack. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> just a baby face with be just careful. like. careful. That is a lot of power. Yeah, that's a lot of power. <laughs> you don't know how to wield. Uh -huh. You don't know how to wield those, those dimples and those. Six inches soft <laughs> that you got that you got in those dungarees, um, but good luck with you, buddy. Good luck. Then just take just believe in yourself a little more. Don't don't sell that dick to the first Australian that comes a knocking. <laughs> That's what I say. Here's with another one, Eldis. Hey, Stavi. My name is Franco. Um, I've called in before about you know not being able, being able to get pussy, <laughs> but um, I want to call. Because um, I'm in therapy, and I don't think my therapist wants to be a therapist anymore. <laughs> like, to mention, like, offhandedly, like, oh, um, I, I used to think I wanted to be a therapist, but I don't want to anymore. Like, when we're talking about my shit, and, like, he's just really checked out, he doesn't want to, like... Like engage that much. He gives crazy. me like very basic, like skim level advice, like he was nothing crazy. Surface. So, what should I do? Just like should I drop him? Like I feel bad because he's like a cool dude, but <laughs> I, I don't think he likes it. Thanks, man. Have a good one. You feel bad for your therapist. <laughs> oh man, this uh, you are not getting what you need out of therapy, yeah. brother. He's a good dude. I mean, it sounds for, like he's. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot be paying for that. No, that so no, crazy. no, no, no. And this this is actually an important call because we're big therapy guys here on Stavi's World, and uh, for a lot of things, I think people need to go to therapy. But you got to remember, therapy is like anything else, where it's like. Some therapists are fucking bad at their job. 100%. And it's a lot of finding the right one. Like, I, it took me a while to find a therapist that, in Baltimore specifically, it took me a while to find somebody that I really liked. <clears throat> and then in New York, I, I found a therapist. Like, 
I had to just kind of work on a, I had no money when I first moved here and mm-hmm. I was the most depressed I've ever been. So I had to use, I had to work with whoever works on a sliding scale. And maybe that person wasn't exactly the perfect therapist, but they were still really good at their job. They weren't checked out. And over time, you just kind of get a rapport with them and they just yeah. kind of know you and it just makes sense. Um, so it's just like anything else, man. You, you, you got to search for one that really works. And a therapist that's like, oh, man, you're telling him about your fucking parents. And he's like, yeah, man, that feels like this job to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Where it's like you think you want something and then you just you don't get it. It's like totally different. That is so fucked up of your therapist, I know. Uh, by the way. And he's like, I love how he's like, I think... Meanwhile, he's like, hey, I think my therapist is kind of checked out because he said during sessions, I'm really checked out. <laughs> I don't want to anymore. <laughs> I used to think I wanted to be a therapist, but I don't want to anymore. Yeah. Oh, really, dude? You're really good at picking up subtle ass hints. <laughs> I'm just literally saying he, that. The therapist is like asking you, like, how does it feel to like be in your shoes? Because I kind of <laughs> feel like I could use a therapist. Like, yeah. stop. <laughs> yeah. He's like, why don't we try? This is a very this is a, this is a very useful exercise where I tell you my problems <laughs> and you give me your opinion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> also, like finding a therapist always feels so daunting. Yeah. And I've only had two therapists in my life, but mm-hmm. like the moment you actually just commit to, it's always hard when you're like. All you're doing is Googling. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like you just have to actually fucking email. And you have to email, and you have to go basically in. basically it. And look, you might have to go in and be like, fuck, this wasn't... Like, do a couple yeah. sessions and it's like, yeah, that might be a waste of time. Yeah. But when you find somebody that really works for you, I think it's really worth it. Yeah. Go by vibes on all these, um, like, ZocDoc.com, mm-hmm. which is, like, I think where I found my latest therapist. Mm-hmm. It's like, they have photos and it literally feels like a dating app. It's yeah, it's so it's weird. weird. But you yeah. just gotta go with, with vibes. Like, pick a nice, nerdy-looking person. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. I've, I've had some, I've had a therapist that was probably too nice to me. Uh, she just, she was like, she felt like more like a big sister's, like a big sister's friend or something like that. Yeah. Where I would just talk to her about girl problems and she would literally just tell me what to do. Uh, but I was only, it was right before I moved to New York and yeah. it was kind of like a temporary thing anyway. Shout out to her. She's an, she was an Australian with big titties actually. Really? Yeah, I did I did want to fuck that therapist, which was a, I I recognized at the time a problem, but yeah, I was like Yeah, I know what happens when you're in that you got to get out, right? Yeah, well, I knew I was leaving anyway. Yeah. But, you know, shout out to her. Thank God you got out. You would not be here today. No, no, I'd be married to her. <laughs> <laughs> she was I think she was engaged, but I would have figured it out. <laughs> it is hard though cuz it's it's also tough like the kind of person who's your therapist. Like I think it's good that I cuz I would have probably wanted to I'd had all women therapists yeah. until I moved to New York, and this is like an older dude. I think I probably would have wanted women therapists, but like, I think it actually ended up being good that he was a guy because yeah. there's just something you'd f- feel. I would just try and fuck my therapist, yeah. I think, or I would try yeah. and impress her. I would just like, especially if she was hot, like, I just can't. Yeah, I can't help that. Whenever, whenever you're in like a, uh, like a weird, intimate, but not appropriate relationship. Totally. It's like, part of you is just like, could I get this person to want to fuck well, me? You're going, wait a second. We just got so deep. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the person's literally being paid. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, like yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't believe she just gave me that look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like so much more. It's like thinking a waitress wants at Hooters wants yes! to fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the yeah. person who's like trying to upcharge you so clearly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, what do you like on the menu? They're like the steak. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like. Oh, that's funny. I like steak too. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, she put a heart on the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> should I go in and try and ask for her number? Definitely. Should I should I try and fuck this 20-year-old with huge tits at this Hooters in Indiana? Uh, she's giving me serious vibes. Um, While she's rubbing some fat g- business guy's arm over yeah, at the other table. Yeah. <laughs> giving him a little shoulder rub. Yeah, she's fucking the line cook yeah, for sure. 100%. 100%. <laughs> um, so yeah, dude, I you gotta get out. You just gotta look for a different therapist. I'm sorry, yeah. he said Franco. I'm sorry, man. You're, you're not getting a nice. You need a break. You needed a W, and this was not it. Yeah. Sounds like you're still not getting pussy, which is a problem. I hope we've I hope we've <laughs> answered that question at some point. But just to give you some generic advice, believe in yourself. And honestly, it's kind of a similar thing with finding a therapist and finding someone to date. You might go on a lot of duds. Yeah. There might be a couple duds. I mean, therapy should be quicker than you know finding a girlfriend but 
You still, it still might take a while. Yeah, and therapy, though, the way I feel about it, too, sometimes, like, I mostly do just need someone to listen, mm -hmm. you know? So, like, my the vibe that my therapists have had are the girl in your class who you get paired to do a group project with, <laughs> she's so much smarter than you, <laughs> and she decides, she decides... I'll just do the whole thing. Yeah. And you go, are you sure? I want to help. I want to help. And she's yeah. like, no, it's okay. Yeah. I, I got it. <laughs> that's she's like, really so good. so nice. Yeah, that's know? very funny. Yeah. <laughs> Elvis, what do you, you got? You back in therapy, man? Uh, I'm on hiatus right now because my therapist, like. Oh, right. I worked with her the first half of this year. She just finished, like, grad school officially. So we had to take a break until she's, like, fully licensed. Totally. Mm. She's going to another place. I'm waiting for an email or something to figure out what Damn, the Damn, you're about is. to get ghosted by your therapist. But I'm also yeah, about to like, be out of town for like the first half of July, which is like the month we said oh, right. we'd pick it up. So we'll see. Fuck it, dude. August. I right. actually, this reminds me, I should hit my therapist up. Yeah. I actually kind of ghosted him because I was I was gone for like two months. Yeah. It happens when you're traveling. What are you going to do? Yeah. But my yeah. mental health's been really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you might not need it anymore. Yeah, actually. I think I'm actually Sometimes fine. you can, yeah, you can just like graduate. Out yeah. of You've had a lot of time to sit down and reflect lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't picked up some concerning habits, that's for sure, <laughs> that I'll talk to you guys about off air. Yeah, uh, there's only vodka in, yeah. in your mini water bottles. <laughs> I am smoking weed every day again, <laughs> which is a... Which is a <laughs> Which may no, nah, I'm cured, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, all right, here's with another one, Big LD. Dumbass. How many do you get? We get a lot. We got to do like a marathon one of these days and just clear some of these out. Ooh, that's cool. Hey, Bestie and Bestie's guest of the day. What's <laughs> up? Um, I am needing some advice when it comes to my sex life. Um, for context, I'm a 20-something-year-old woman living in the Midwest. Um, okay. I've been with, you know, 20-plus different dudes. I've had nice. a few Throw years. The, throwing the body count up there. Um, Respect. And there's only been one guy that I've been with that, have act, that has actually um, gotten me to a nut. Mm. Like, just a regular-ass orgasm there's only been one guy that's been able to do that mm -hmm. without like a vibrator or you know any of the special stuff oh. um, literally just <laughs> fingers that's all he was using so my question is i kind of struggle with telling men kind of how i like it um especially because now i'm like single and just seeing people casually so i kind of struggle with like telling a man's not my boyfriend like Hey, this is how I like it, and oh, your dick game is weak. Like mm -hmm. I just I <laughs> well, you shouldn't say that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking that, like you know, my sex life is obviously getting fucked up because of that. So, I guess my question is just like coming from a man. Like, how would you want a woman to approach you about like, hey, I'm not really enjoying this, or hey, can you do this differently? Um, I don't want to be offensive, but I also, you know, some of these dudes, like, simply do not know the female anatomy. So, um, anyways, love you. Have a great day. Bye. Wow. Tough. 20 to go one for 20 i know it's brutal statistically yeah. brutal yeah I mean, you, went, you I went four for four right yeah, of course. yeah. oh my god I, every, in the four times i had sex with men i came 20 times no the, the, what's so sad is that is what i hear from my straight yeah, friends yeah, though yeah. it's like one in ten one it's in 20. so f like i Ooh. i hate this for you for them but it is a fun like the bar is so hysterically low know, for me because it's, it's like it isn't like I feel bad because it's like, you know, well, first of all, let's let's just address your question. Um, I think I don't I actually think telling somebody exactly what you like, most people would be pleased to hear that because I think, OK, now, look, I can't I, I I'm going to have to put myself in the mind of a subpar lover. It's going to be very it's going to be very difficult for me. Dude, to do. How are you going to do that? It's going to be really hard. My actually, uh, my fucking head hurts. Just imagine someone else. I'm, imagine try someone I'm trying to imagine different. being bad at eating pussy and I can't do it. 
That's where my acting stops. I'm not meant for Hollywood. Um, yeah, it's like it's like how Austin, that guy who played Elvis, like he talked in a different voice for like a year. If I tried to imagine someone being bad at eating pussy, yeah. I would just like I would have I'd be like a mental hospital for a year trying to get trying to get over it. Or how like Heath, everyone thinks Heath Ledger killed himself because he was the joke. That's what's gonna happen to me after I imagine being bad at eating pussy. I'm gonna kill myself in a bathtub. The twisted diaries of Savas <laughs> as he was preparing for the role of a bad. No, no, I can already see the, the Wikipedia page that, that um, talks about your death. Yeah. And it's just like thousands of pages yeah. long about how. The harrowing experience of imagining not making women bust. Um, yeah, I would say, like, personally, I don't, I like, I would like for somebody to tell me. I think most guys would actually be relieved. Because here's the thing. A lot of these guys are just selfish, clearly. Yeah. Um, and they don't. They're not going to, like, try and figure it out. But if you tell them, it takes a real piece of shit to completely ignore you. Yeah. So I think you could probably get those numbers up a nice amount. Um, but by just being kind of, like, forthright and being like, hey, just do this. And and also, here's the other thing. try You got to get your nut off first. Yeah. Because they're still, they still kind of feel like, you know... They got. They're still trying to bust. You know what I mean. They still. They haven't secured a bust yet. So I would say try and get. You go first with some instructions, and you know, don't be afraid to like. If someone's doing a bad job, be like, all right, you know what? You just got to jerk. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. don't. Ha you don't have to go the whole way. I mean, you're already there. I guess you might as well fucking get it over with on some level. But this also could be a where. Who are these guys? Kind of question, right? Are you just finding dumb dickheads? Could you get a higher quality of person? I, I don't know. That's kind of tough. Yeah. Um, it's hard. I think I think that, like, as a girl who mm -hmm. has seen quite a few vaginas, I'm like, mm -hmm. they are all very different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, so I'm never, as also a scientist. Absolutely. I'm never shocked Let's put our by, lab these, coats in on. by these statistics. I'm going, like, that checks out. Yeah. Also, because like when I think about straight sex, which I do all the time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm always thinking about it, thinking how can I make it better. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm like desperately yeah, I mean, trying to be straight. I mean, I'm like I'm just to imagining do the math to like get straight again. If I were a dude, I would just keep pumping, and you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I don't know. Right. Well, that's part of the problem is that that is exactly right. That's the yeah. baseline. Like haven't learned any new skills is exactly. like yeah you put your dick in and you just pump away and right. you bust because that will make them bust they right. figured that out yeah um i will say in my personal experience when someone has given me direction i love it because it just makes the job easier yeah it's like yeah everyone's busting everyone's having a good time um the, yeah, I don't if know. any of the guys are not into direction, it's like that's a that's a big red. It's one thing to be bad at fucking; it's another thing to to refuse coaching <laughs> to be like, no, some I do what I do. Some of us are confident at being bad at <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> Eldest, what about you? How do you how do you handle being uh, you know, being ordered around or um, told? I don't know. I mean, for for her perspective, I kind of see like, you know. I can see how it would be weird with, like, a more casual hookup or something. Because, mm. you don't know. You got to think about, like, what you even want out of the hookup. Like, for sure. You know. Well, to if, bust at a minimum, I would say. What You know what I mean? Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. You got to think, like, how to get there and how to, like, give those directions as easy as possible. Yeah. In a way, like, you'd give a bank teller a direction or request or something. Yeah. Sure. So... I don't know. I mean, yeah. Thank you. I think I think a good place to start really is just like asking to keep getting fingered until you come. <laughs> then just do the normal what penis. That's sex. not her thing. <laughs> what that is, is she so <laughs> funny? <laughs> Um, I guess my question is, have you asked to be fingered? <laughs> so, yeah, Sometimes good. dick isn't Se as good as two fingers. Sex Sula coming through. The master of the female Look, anatomy. Look, it sounds like it's probably not going to happen with a dick. So yeah. think about how you... Look, sounds your, like she wants to get her pussy eaten. That's really what it comes down well, to. Well, you just got to ask for that. And if yeah. someone for says, sure. like, no one, they're hooking up, it's like, okay, well... Also, because yeah. it sounds like... like I feel like I know most of my like single girlfriends are just like if they're doing casual hookups, they're not looking to orgasm. But it does sound like this girl is like, I want to be twenty. Respect, for 20. yeah, good Which, for her. Like, yeah. I'm like one hundred percent because dudes are. I doing don't that. get so. Okay, that's the other thing I don't understand is like 
just being like, oh, yeah, casual hookup and not busting. Yeah. I don't understand the psychology of that from a woman's yeah. perspective. I guess, like, I guess it just feels good to fuck or you're doing it for, like, right. the experience or, like, maybe it's, like, it's kind of a sim because guys definitely have that trophy thing where it's like you just want to bag a hot girl yeah. and like tell your friends, like show your friends her Instagram, and be like, uh -huh. dude, huh? <laughs> like, I wonder if girls have What's a little better bit of than that? than nutting showing your friends her Insta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like so gay of you. I mean, it really is. No, no, it's gay <laughs> as hell. Uh, but it, it's like the gayest thing of all time. But, uh, but it's like I want. But is that part of it? Like, I don't. That's the thing. It's like I'm trying to. Get an okay. I guess I'm trying to get a nut off, and I'm also trying to just feel like somebody likes me yeah. on some level. It's like yeah. it's not even the nut so much as like somebody wanting to have the knowledge of somebody wanting to have sex with me is almost like better than actually fucking them. Couldn't it's like, agree more. It's like oh, this is sick. Somebody yeah. w thinks somebody wants to fuck me. Maybe that's what the maybe what because you're saying your your straight girlfriends they're not trying to bust on hookups. Well, because they just know it's like hard. Oh, it's, it's like, more like. It's, Statistically, it's not happening. Oh, I all see. The time. They're just realists. So they're like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh, whatever. Yeah. I'll just make out and like, yeah. you know, being like, I can make a dude nut. That's fun too. Yeah, true. I guess that's true. Oh, but also, I know so many straight girls who use a vibrator with their boyfriends every single time they have sex. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, don't be afraid to just like, sure, keep it in your pocket. Yeah, <laughs> get the trap. Have it in like a fanny pack. You're carrying a purse. Come yeah. on. Have like a have like a satchel. <laughs> With a it's bunch gigantic. of gigantic, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like bullets. military yeah. bullets, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> crossbody, like the little the little dildos, like the rabbit or whatever. <laughs> yes, the fuck. exactly. And the rose one, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just have a couple of those. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. It sounds like this is going to be an issue. Most people, I have also, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but it is like the fun. It is a great thing to get. Like that helps my ego when someone's been like the last X amount of guys haven't made me bust or something yeah. like that. It feels cool. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Start eating like Stabby's World is a big pussy eating podcast. Let's put that there. And fellas, don't don't get your uh, feelings hurt um, if somebody te gives you uh, instructions. Definitely, listeners. This podcast should be trying to make women bust. That's we're just going to put it that way. So uh, we, we've done a lot of talking to our friend here who called in, but let's talk to the you know, much more, much larger percentage of men listening to the show and say, mm -hmm. it's your job to make women bust and try your darn, try your darndest to make it happen. Yeah. It also like is a compliment if a girl is telling you how they want it because it's like they actually want to keep having sex with you for more minutes. Oh, true. As opposed to just being like, this can end right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I bet a lot of these guys, she's been like, it's not even worth it. For sure. Yeah. And a lot of them are like, I don't care. That's the other thing. It's like a lot of these motherfuckers are kind of dickheads. We're just like, yeah. I'm trying to get a nut off and who cares? Definitely. So, you know. I feel like on the casual hookup, like so many girls are different. I feel like so many girls like just don't come from like normal sex or whatever. True. And even if you're fingering or, you know, Mm -hmm. Eating pussy or the bread and butter, like <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just don't know like how long it'll sure, take sometimes, sure. and it's yeah. unpredictable. It is hysterical how sometimes a woman will bust so fast, and, and then, then somebody else is like, "You could watch a nine, hours, ninety dude. minutes, and you have to, you cannot get off the metronome yeah. of finger popping and pussy licking for one second, or it's, it's over." It's crazy. Yeah. It's gotta be a, it's gotta be a curse to yeah. have that. Oh, I, as someone who can literally have an orgasm in thirty seconds, nice. I'm Respect. like, gosh, I really, I feel for all the ladies out oh, there. Oh yeah, there's some tough busts out yeah. there. There's some and tough ones. Some of us are on a mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I've I've had a sore shoulder socket for a ah. while trying to get a couple You're girls to bust. You're constantly wearing a sling. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I hooked up with a girl who needed to be fingered for 45 minutes last night. And I also, I'm too fat. If I'm doing like this, it really kind of, you know, I need to get a little, I need to work on my shoulder strength for the fingering short, alone. The sore shoulder is tough. I have a, and I have a shoulder injury from football. It's oh, tough. For I sure. play through the pain though. I for play sure. through the pain. <laughs> so good luck, pal. We hope you bust more. Yeah, please. Please. <laughs> and yeah, bring the vibrator out. Who cares? <laughs> Yo, what up, guys? I tried to call earlier and I think I got disconnected, so I'm doing it again real quick. Uh, Stabby baby, big. Can I say real quick as someone who screens these? 
if you call back, you don't need to say it in the beginning. <laughs> you can just start over, start fresh on the new call, because that's the one we're going to play. That is so funny. Sometimes I've had good questions that, like, the person was a dumbass, so the first one, they asked it in 40 seconds, and then mm. they followed up with a lot of info. Mm. It's like, this is good, but... I'm not playing two of these sure, to sure, get all sure. the info. Yeah, you yeah. hear that, folks? Eldest is the gatekeeper. You have to, you have to please <laughs> Hard him. To please, yeah. I'm not looking at any of these fucking voicemails until this exact moment. <laughs> so your first audience is Eldest. Remember that, folks. LD, love, love the pod. Uh, whoever the guests are, hello to you guys as well. Um, here's what I need advice on. In November 2020, you know, lockdown, all that stuff's happening. Um, me and my, my roommate, we, we were like, heard there was a party going on. We're like, let's go to one fucking party. Nice. We go to this party a couple weeks later, my roommate loses his <laughs> taste and smell, not feeling good. Test Ruh-roh. positive for COVID. A week later, he gets his taste and smell back. Right when that happens, I lose my taste and smell. No Uh-oh. other symptoms, <gasps> test positive. Bros, it is almost June of 2023. Oh, no. I do not have that shit back yet. It oh, is fucking no. wild. You know, I come from a fine dining restaurant background. Oh. Uh, you know, love good food. M- my mom and my grandparents are immigrants from Croatia. My dad's just a white guy. But <laughs> I love the same food. You know, I grew Shout up out. on the same shit from the Balkans that, you know, you guys grew up on eating all that stuff. Great cooks. You know, yeah. now... My this relationship with food, you know, taking my girl out to eat, like, I don't need to spend money to eat good food. I mean, she does, like, we still go, you know, but as far as just a general relationship with oh, with the shit I grew up on and, and anything good, anything tasty, good, good weed, you know, a fine cigarette, <laughs> we've had a few drinks, like, I get nothing out of that oh shit. Oh, my God. Anymore. I mean, it's not not all bad, I suppose. Like, I didn't really eat ass before. But, you know, <laughs> no now I I'll eat ass all the time. There's no no consequence, man. Maybe a little... Okay, all right. We get it, pal. ...mustache afterwards, but that's it, you know? So, <clears throat> my question to you guys is, <laughs> what do you think? How do I... What are we... How do I get over this what are you thing? You know, how do I move what do we on? Think? Like, what kind of relationship can I have with... Good food, right, man. Pasta I, just, I miss goulash. I miss oh goulash. Oh, my God. Buddy, what the fuck? What are we, doctors? Yeah. What the fuck do you want me to say? I don't fucking know. You have long COVID. Yeah, I, I think I put my scalpel um, yeah. in your... I'm like, what? This yeah. is, that was really sad at first. No, super And then he got sad. into eating ass. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. you might have a new profession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. There's not, I mean, definitely God. use it to your advantage. Do more. What's more, like, stinky shit he could be up to? You know? I mean, you could get so, like, healthy d- with yeah, this lifestyle. Yeah, that's true. If food doesn't but, taste good anyway. Right? This I sucks, No, this is horrible. Yeah. This is, I mean, that's, it's almost like a, a torture method. No, I would, this this would drive me yeah. insane. Insane. Did you guys lose taste or smell or from COVID at I any point? I actually didn't. I lost my um taste for, like, 36 hours Mm -hmm. and it really was freaky like drinking coffee with like no taste wow i even just like put fucking full ketchup in my mouth and nothing nothing damn it was really crazy damn yeah i I had it i had it for like a week too Uh, and it was like it was like gone for a pretty good amount of time it was it it is a lot weirder than you can even imagine yeah you just straight up don't smell or taste anything um, but I did have Chinese food without any taste, and I still like that a good amount. So. <laughs> You're I still know. eating like shit, <laughs> no, fucking idiot. No, at the tail end when I could just tell I was getting better, but my my taste wasn't fully back. But I got General Tso's, and it still just yeah. made me fucking it's fried still, chicken. It still made me feel you know, great. I gotta like. say, I could imagine General Tso's still being good, just texture wise. Texture, textures are big, yeah. yeah. Crunchy, gooey, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that really, this, you have to figure out, I think in this, you have to just like find new foods that are so texture focused Mm. that they'd be still fun. Like, I think that you would maybe need to have chips be an everyday thing. Chips, sure, yeah. Just to like hear a crunch to like help. I don't know. I would go the opposite way and just be like, fuck it. I mean, he doesn't sound fat though. I would, I would take this as an opportunity to lose a little weight to like eat healthier because who cares? Right. Texture is important, and eventually that would, I think that would drive you crazy. But like, they make vegan shit that like kind of has the right texture. You could probably 
figure the texture out with like you know meats and shit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, dude, I don't. I mean, look, we feel for you, but we're fucking. We don't know shit about this. <laughs> we're really go to, dumb. Go so to your doctor. It's tough. It's been a year and a half, and you haven't gone to the doctor yet. You just don't taste shit. Also. Wait, okay, it's been a year and a half. God, it's really scary. I, I'm, like, praying this doesn't happen, like, last forever. Wait, more like, than a year and a half, right? right? That's crazy. Yeah, if it's from 2020, it's yeah. at least two years. Two right. years. That's insane. So crazy. And also, kudos to you for even admitting that you went out in 2020. You yeah, could have just yeah, said, yeah. like, I got COVID yeah. a year ago. I'm trying to remember November 2020. I feel like that summer... At least in New York, people were out. Were you yeah. here? Were you here? I was in New York. Oh yeah, I moved to New York July of twenty twenty. So people gotcha. were out. Yeah, that summer was fucking all. I've talked yeah. about it before. That was the best like time of dating for me ever because it was like you couldn't go anywhere. Right. It was and if anybody intimate. and if anybody was leaving their house, they were going to fuck. Right. So it was like I would just you know I would just like invite girls over. We'd have I'd grill a nice dinner. We'd watch a yeah. movie. We'd fuck. It was kind of perfect. <laughs> I guess if we're breathing the same air, we should we just might, fuck. <laughs> Everyone was just like, well, I came out. I'm not, wow. gonna, you know what I mean? No yeah. one was not going to fuck. Like, That's really one fun. girl didn't fuck the first time. <laughs> and then she came back like literally two days later and we fucked. Right. It was like, but everybody else was like, yeah, I mean, I left my house. Yeah. And look, I set up a nice, we had that, that grill on the balcony, totally. little, little wine. It was, and I can cook too. So mm. it was like a nice, you know, it was a good setup. I wasn't blowing it, but yeah. I love... That was truly my favorite. I know. There were some fun... Co I feel like summer of 2021, like, the day I got vaccinated, I oh, was like... yeah, yeah, yeah. I was having... I was smiling ear to ear, yeah. drunk <laughs> as fuck for three weeks straight. Yeah, yeah. It was so fun. <laughs> yeah. No, it was... That was a great time to be single. It was like that... Both both COVID summers mm. in New York were great. Were, it was a great time. Um, well, I'm but sorry, yeah, dude. dude. Go, to the go to the doctor. I don't know what the fuck yeah, you want me truly. to say. What the fuck? <laughs> you might need to start like taking drugs or something. Yeah, some, some. That would be brutal if that's just never. It, it's got to come back at some right? point. I think so. I've had friends who were smelling, like actually Jordan Jensen, eldest. She she had like a, she was smelling like rotten meat. Not only did I've she, heard that. Not only did oh, really? she, yeah, Ooh. and she would have to. There was like only like three smells that cut through. It, it was like lavender. And like beeswax weirdly or something like that. It was so strange. She was just holding like lavender up to her fucking nose <laughs> for like three months. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just smelled like fucked up, like rotten meat. Sucks. So it could be worse, I guess. But, you know, go to the doctor and hopefully they'll fix you. Yeah. Hey, Stavi. Uh, so I graduated from college 10 years ago. I was accepted into grad school to become a therapist. I decided to turn that down to pursue acting and writing. Hmm. Flash forward to today, and I've had very minimal <laughs> success, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Thank you for I being honest. I did some short films, some <laughs> theater shows. I tried breaking into the New York City uh, comedy scene, and that was a disaster. <laughs> uh, you know, UCB didn't want me. I was a very bad open mic comedian. Uh, so now I'm thinking of switching things up, maybe go to grad school, maybe... Get my cybersecurity certificate or something. <laughs> uh, I could even move to Southern Italy because I have an apartment, citizenship, Ooh. and a bunch of that family there. That's kind of fun. That said, part of me still wants to keep pursuing the entertainment field. Hmm. Uh, maybe move to L.A. I've, I've lived in Queens my whole life, so maybe a change of scenery could be nice. Uh, that said, being a 32-year-old failed actor in L.A., that, that might be a little cringe. No. Well, uh, they that's they really respect savvy. that kind of guy um, over there. <laughs> let me know what you think. Love the show. Um, um, hey, pal. Look, you kind of laid out your CV for us. We didn't even have to dive in. It's not like you didn't try. Yeah. You gave it a shot. It didn't work out. First of all, there's no, there's no shame in trying and it not working out. There just isn't. Like, there's more, there's a shame in not trying and forever wondering. But the thing is, you gave it a pretty long try, too. It's been, what, 10 years? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know the answer. Mm -hmm. I hate to be this guy to really stamp it home, but I would, I wouldn't. Now, look, am I saying go to grad school? No, not necessarily. Um, but. Continuing to put all your efforts in entertainment, I think, is probably a mistake. First of all, I'm successful in entertainment, and I'm depressed. Mm. 
You know what I mean? Like my shit's going. I'm probably I'm yeah. doing better than you will ever, even if shit goes good. And I'm not having that good a time right yeah. now. You know what I mean? Like there's 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 like uh, yeah, there's like pros and cons to all of it. And you you know you gave it a shot. You tried. And I mean, look, if you want to move to L.A. because it is kind of a nice, fun city, you know, yeah. it's a cool it actually it's I think a lot of people try L.A. after failing in New York because it's like, let's say I fail in L.A. I'm still in L.A. and I'm right. in some fucking, you have a backyard. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a backyard. <laughs> it's fucking nice out. Um, you know, the, all the all this kind of shit, you know, maybe Grace's mom will sell you a home <laughs> yeah. after you get your cybersecurity <laughs> certificate. Uh, I'm not now if you know, pursuing stuff artistically is like fulfilling to you. By all means, you can con continue to do that a little bit as a hobby and just kind of slowly figure it out. But I do think, I think it's on the, you're basically, you've pretty much come to terms with reality, but you are holding out a little too much hope for my taste, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, you got to make a decision either way. Um, if you really do feel like you want to give it one more shot, that's fine. Move to LA, give it a shot. But you know, I also think you want to you want to have like a you want like what do you want your life to look like when you're 40 at some point? Um, you know, you're not old, but you're not young either. Yeah, so it's, it's so hard to just have. Also, it's like you've been trying for 10 years and it's like if you're give it one more year of a shot, that's hard. Because yeah, if you're going to blow up out of nowhere, most of the people who are doing that are like 21. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, they're yeah, Charlie yeah. D'Amelio. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 exactly. It's like. It's like, I just got successful at this level at 30, when am I, 34 or 35? How old am I? 34. 30. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> Fuck. I just got successful at 34 at this level, but it's, it was a series of like smaller yeah. successes that like, you know, it is kind of like the algorithm really blew my shit up and my special blew my shit up. But it was like, you know, I did pretty well in comedy for a while. I was opening for Bobby Kelly and Tom Papa. I moved here. I got past it, these clubs. Come Town blew up, you know, started touring more. All the, It's like been all one thing after another. And uh, even though it might look like, like to someone out to like an out, yeah, like a blow up overnight thing. Yeah. It's like most blow up overnight things. It's like exactly what you said. It's either some rich 20 year old mm -hmm. who just like, you know, mm -hmm. just ha they're hot and they're rich and just happens for them. Or it's like a th someone in their 30s that has actually been kind of successful, but not made any money right. for over a decade. But they've been like touring. But they've, for yeah, years. they have something yeah. going. People know. So it's like just to give you a little sense of reality doesn't usually happen if you give it one more year. That's probably not going to yeah. be it. So you have to kind of make a decision of like, Am I in for the long haul where I'm okay if it, you have to be okay with total failure and like being 40 and living and, you know, having a roommate in Santa Monica, you have to be okay with that. And if you can, if you can stomach that, then fine, keep going. But if you're like, you know what, I could live in Italy or I could, you know, some kind of cybersecurity shit or even some kind of like people love coding and doing boot camps and all this other uh -huh. shit. If you just want to find a job and have a little financial security for a little while and pursue your stuff creatively, that's probably the path I would go down. I wouldn't completely give up on my artistic pursuits because I, I remember thinking when I moved to New York, like, I'm going to give it like, I'm going to give it five good years. Yeah. And if nothing happens, I'm not going to quit stand up forever, but I'm going to move back to Baltimore. I'm going to be one of those guys that like features at my home club totally. and like runs a good show and just like comedy was something I so enjoyed doing that I was never going to fully quit. And I don't think you have to fully quit the artistic stuff you like, but you might have to come to grips with it's not going to happen for you just realistically. Definitely. And I think like you want to be like making money somehow. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. I do feel yeah. like, you know, also yeah, most how are you people doing it now? who, who like, you know, do blow up out of nowhere. If they're not a kid, they are making, like they do have a side job sure, at sure. least, yeah. if not a full-time gig. So I would say just go ahead, do either grad school or you get your cybersecurity I wouldn't say grad school. <laughs> grad yeah, you school think that's just more money. More money and yeah. it's like, you know. And by the way, this guy sounds like the other guy's therapist. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like this guy's not, like if this guy was a therapist, he would be talking about how he doesn't. He's not into it now. He's got a screenplay. He really thinks he should read. He's getting his patients oh. to read his fucking screen, give notes on his screenplay. <laughs> also, like move to something. Italy. I think, that like, cool. anyone in entertainment would rather fucking do yeah. that. No, I literally... I just don't have the option. Yeah, my goal... My goal in entertainment is to have enough money to buy a house on an island in Greece yeah. and live there four months out of the year. Dude, that's my goal. Yeah. Like, I want that's to do amazing. that. Like, when I'm in my 50s, that's how I want to live sure. my life. Um, so, you kind of... You got you have family there. Like, I've thought about moving to Greece at different points, but, you know... If shit was going a little worse for me, I honestly probably would consider that. Would yeah. he have, would he have a better shot at breaking through as an actor if he moved to Italy, just did a bunch of cheesy ass like influencer content on Instagram, got honestly, famous and try to parlay that instead of the grinding it out route? <laughs> yeah, you could just make a just TikTok make some about good looking your life little in field southern of Italy. Well, what does this yeah. guy look like? Is he fucking ugly? Cuz it's not going to work if he's ugly. <laughs> I don't know. Let's be honest. Every influencer that blows yeah. up is like hot. I know. I'm curious. I'm curious. There's no what? lifestyle influencers that are ugly. No, not really. You know what I'm saying? Well, you have to think something going on if he's tried to be an actor for 10 years if no, he's done not some at all. Some short film. I'll just come some, on. Don't make don't me, don't don't make me roast this guy because your reading of him is so wrong. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> Something's going on. Oh, he did open mics for 10 years, so he's got to have something. You've been open mics, pal. You know that's not he the said, case. He said some theater shows. That's something if you're like between your 20s and your 30s. Also, it's, he said he was a very bad open yeah, mic comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know bad open mic comedians who would say they were good that's open a, mic that's comedians. The thing, that's the interesting thing about this guy. He does have self awareness, and I like it. And I do like it. And he he probably he just probably loves the art part of it. And yeah, in in a perfect world, he would just get to do that for his job. But you know, I'm saying he's more self aware about himself than you are about him. <laughs> yeah, you, and you, he you just like just move to Italy and become a become an influencer. Is your is your fucking advice, Eldis? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, get something shaking. I just feel like he could he could be he might if he quits entertainment he could be. Like two years online, being like, "Wow, that was the best thing that ever oh, happened yeah, to me." Oh yeah, for sure. I just think you could be so much happier. Well, the most fucked up thing about my life is that I was the most happy when we were talking about that. Yeah. That summer, that COVID summer, there was no stand up, and I was yeah. just like going on dates and work. I'm I lost fifty pounds because totally. I was like working out and totally. cooking all my own meals. Like I was happier when I was not oh, successful God. and not <laughs> doing stand up, and I was just doing you know I was just doing the podcast twice a week, and it um, was like. I wasn't fulfilled art creatively or artistically, but sure. I I loved my life. <laughs> you looked in the mirror and you smiled. I smiled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like shit was going good for me. I was like I was I that was my healthiest dating like Totally. Like I probably if I and then I went on tour for two straight years and I just lost touch with all the like anybody I was dating. I lost touch right. with like my sleep schedule, my health. Like yeah. it is the better my career is, the worse my health has gotten. Mm -hmm. And that's why, like, next year I'm going to take it a little easier. But the grass ain't always greener is the other thing about this, too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, whatever, dude. You know, <laughs> let's be honest. What the fuck are we talking about? It's not going to happen. Yeah, so just yeah. get a fucking job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's do a nice fun mm -hmm. one to, to, to play us off with, Elvis. And while, while he's looking at that, Grace, why don't you plug... Whatever you want the people to know, to follow you, totally. you hilarious videos Thank online. You. That's how I first discovered you. Thanks, um, dude. You can follow me at, um, on Instagram, TikTok, um, Twitter. I don't really use anymore, but just go ahead and throw me a follow. Throw a follow. Um, it's at G K U H L E N S C H M I D T. <sighs> Brutal. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> just just yeah. check out the description of this episode. Yeah, Grace and Cool copy, and copy and paste it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can listen to my podcast with my friend Joe Castle Baker, who's a fucking hilarious Very comedian. Very funny the guy. The podcast yes. is called Finally. Yes. Go listen to the podcast. Go follow Grace. And are you doing any? Are you touring at all? Are you going to do um, some stuff? Yeah, I'll be back doing shows in like. A couple months. Cool. I usually take the summer off just to smart. party. No, no, smart move. <laughs> it's fun. It's yeah. it's also comedy's not as good in the summer. People, yeah, exactly. Because that's how people are too. They're like, yeah. I'm I'm not going to comedy. Well, so I'm going to when get I fucked first up. moved to New York, I was like doing. I like lined up all these shows for the summer. And then everyone was inviting me to their house in Hudson, yeah. or like <laughs> I don't even, like just anywhere not in the city. And yeah. I was like, why would I be doing a show no, when no, I could no. be in a pool? A hundred percent. You're absolutely. Correct. It was a pretty easy decision. <laughs> absolutely. Um... <laughs> All right, play this last one for us. What's up, you fat 
You sexy motherfucker. Jesus I'm watching Christ. you right now with Joe List. I was just wondering, my wife is very jealous, very fucking, like, crazy when it comes to me even looking at another chick. Oh. Like, how do I hide that better? Like, how can I, like, how do I hide, it? hide that a little bit better? But yeah, just give me a little bit of advice on that if you can. I love watching you. I love you guys. All right. Love you, brother. Thanks. My name is Jake, by the way. Jake from State Farm. Uh-uh. Later. Nice one. Full hey, name. Good one, dude. Jake from State Farm. Um, This is your question. How do you hide ogling other women better from your wife? I don't know, man. Maybe, you know. <sighs> <laughs> Maybe they'll be like, Wait, holy he, shit, look at her tits when yeah. you're eating dinner you with your he's wife. saying that how does he hide him looking at other girls better? Or how does he hide his wife being jealous? I think he he, he has you identified the, the problem and he doesn't want to get caught. Oh, yeah. Man. I don't think there's any way to hide your wife being jealous. Yeah. I think he's just like, you know. Don't don't, don't say out loud to your wife the sexual thoughts you're having <laughs> yeah, as, you're, yeah, yeah. as you're looking at another woman in the restaurant. <laughs> well, he sounds sober as fuck right now, calling in. So he might he might just be fucking plastered and just like he doesn't seem like the most subtle man just in general. So right. I don't know I don't know what to tell you. Maybe take some uh, hmm, take I some karate. You know what I mean? Learn like the art of being sneaky. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe some kind of breath work classes. Yeah. Be cl be more attached to your body. You know, because you're probably making involuntary noises and looks. No, and, ew. You know? Oh my god. He sees a hot girl. He's like. Oh. <laughs> Uh. I'm like, why? I'm like, that's what is happening. Yeah, hundred percent. He's doing He's that weird so grunt. Obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, dude. I would say, uh, you know. Maybe train yourself in the art of espionage. <laughs> you know, <laughs> take some, go to the spy museum. Um, you know, really just watch some James Bond film or some Mission get Impossible. Get some good sunglasses. Yes, so, so, that yeah. was such an awesome move to get the mirrored sunglasses. Yes, I, yeah. I had those in like third grade. Yeah, 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 so yeah, sick. yeah. Um, mirrored sunglasses and just like, you know, I would say maybe don't ogle women around your wife. You know, yeah. everyone's human. We all take a peek if you're out and about. Totally. It's sundress season. What are you going to do? But really, I would say the a general rule is don't move your neck. If you keep everything like eye focused and like not, but you don't want to do this. You know what I mean? You want to like, yeah, you don't yeah. want to turn around. You don't want to do any of that stuff. And mm -hmm. definitely no noises. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely no remarks. And maybe give your wife a little more attention. Yeah, you can be easier on her, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This You're also like, this is your, you're not saying like, I'm not, I want to divorce or anything. Like, right. this is your wife. Right. So maybe also just show her more of that attention. Right, right. Be horny for your wife. And then you can balance it out and mm -hmm. you can look at more girls because you are giving her more attention. Right, right. I mean, this sounds like, if I had to guess, this sounds like maybe a two people trapped in a bad life together. Mm, maybe. <laughs> this guy, just kind of from his whole demeanor, how yeah. drunk he is calling into this podcast. Yeah. Um, the fact that, you know, he says she's very fucking crazy when it comes to me even looking at another chick. Like, did you, you cheat be on her looking. before? Yeah. yeah, it's like, what's going on? There's more context here, yeah. for sure. You also don't sound like a piece of ass. So something's up here, you know what I mean? That I, just from your voice, I wouldn't be scared to lose you unless you had already cheated and maybe, you know, is she sick? Is she very vulnerable? Does she mm. need you for, for financial support right now? I'm not picking up a very loving vibe about your... And maybe, sure. you know, maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm just generalizing on, you know, how <laughs> fucked up you sound right now. But work on the marriage a little bit. Don't turn your neck. Yeah. And uh, get sneakier and don't make any noises. Yeah, just give yourself a, a no ogling rule no when you're ogling with policy. your wife. Yeah. Like, go out with the boys or yeah. just go to a rest. Like, anywhere you are where your wife isn't, you can let your guard down, and, sure. But even then, don't get wild with it. Yeah. But, even then, the no neck, no turning your neck rule applies. Right. You know? Because I'm, yeah, it's like you are a married man. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And my guess is I'm just going to wild hunch 
I don't think the women you're ogling are too thrilled either. <laughs> Just I'm gonna I'm willing to bet no one's too <laughs> pumped to fucking look at your bloodshot eyes, undressing them. See, seeing they're the like, fucking, we see, find we find out they're like yelling their phone numbers. Yeah. Please, please. Yeah, he's hot, even though he sounds so bad. <laughs> Maybe cap off each social engagement at two or three beers. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's fair. Don't yeah, get yeah, so yeah. fucking drunk you go cross-eyed trying to look at some waitress's tits. <laughs> <laughs> Great point, Eldis. And uh, I think that's going to do it for us yeah. on this week's episode, folks. Thank you so much, Grace. Thanks for Thanks being so here. Thanks so much for having so me. Funny. It's a blast. Yeah, very fun. Uh, uh, call 904-800-STAV. Leave your voicemails. We'll answer your questions, guys. Go follow Grace. Uh, listen to her podcast with Joe Castlebaker. And uh, we will be back soon. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.